Filch. Good evening, <laughs> Internet. Hail and well met, weary travellers, and welcome back to the fireside because it's time for another chapter of the Polyhedron Collider. Collider? Collider plays D&D. Tonight we have the Master of Fate, and they are Andy Lewis as Arrakis the Sorcerer, Sid Gill as El Coquin the Rogue, Derek Neal as Imnek the Warlock, and Adam Moran as Sylphina the Druid. And I, suppose, and I suppose, last but probably not least, a malevolent DM Steve. <laughs> Nothing really changed from benevolent to malevolent. Yeah, I thought that was quite subtle. <laughs> Corrected to. Yeah. You've yeah. shown your true colours now. It's like yeah, doing giants at us. It's like alignment in D and D. It's it, you know you give it some guidelines to begin with, but it's more a reflection of your actions. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Steve, do would you care to uh, step into the torchlight and once again resume our story oh, and prove me wrong? <laughs> John, you just remind what? me of a low rent tray guard when you do this. <laughs> <laughs> How Unless you care. Trade guard was hardly uh, high rent to begin with, was he? Who? <laughs> Trade guard. Have you never seen life. Nightmare? No. Oh, you need to watch Nightmare. Go online. All of the episodes, 144 of them, are on YouTube for your uh, in the uh, for your digestion. They're amazing. <laughs> um, so many things from things like D and D will become apparent. <clears throat> right. So in the last session, you. Uh, I don't well. Your previous previous sessions, you'd opened a portal to the abyss in the cellar of the town hall of uh, <laughs> of East Haven. Um, in the last session, you scarped out of the um, basement, only to then decide to go back in to see what was going on, which was bizarre. Notice <laughs> that demons were coming out of the portal at the abyss, so you scarped it again and decided to collapse the. Uh, tunnel leading from the kind of secret chamber you'd found into the basement. Um, you then scrawled magical signs that basically said warning demons keep out and cheesed it direct south to the Spine of the World Mountains. Your basic plan was to head for the Kaldahar Pass and head into the mountains to the town of Kaldahar but you woke one morning to find a cloud giant tower uh, hovering above. You went up to, up there and found, met the cloud giant wizard called Zephyroth, who gave you some interesting information about the collapse of the Ordning, which was the structure which keeps giants in check. And you found some information about the uh, locations of the other shards. You then got Zephyroth to take you to... Um, where the Beric was um, mining or uh, uh, quarrying the black ice, only to find a bunch of orcs and ogres were harvesting this themselves. You kick the ass out of all the orcs and ogres, and then you set off an avalanche to basically bury the area under snow. And then you followed the trail that the orcs and ogres made further in and came across some kind of castle or fort nestled on the side of a hillside and you could make out orcs uh, patrolling some of the outer battlements. <clears throat> and that is where we left off. Right, well. Cheese it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had enough now. It's time to go somewhere else. Yeah. Mm. Done our sightseeing. Time. Time, time, time to return to civilization in Waterdeep. After all, there is a shard there. What exactly is in this castle? Are we getting any feeling from the uh, the shard? There's, uh, uh, there's anything nearby? Yes, I can I can sense the presence of something, but I think it is a taint of the black ice. But I don't think there is a shard there, but I can't be sure. I think most likely they recovered a lot of black ice from the quarry. Mm. I suspect you're probably right, but we know there is a shard around here somewhere. Uh, somewhere in the mountains, I believe, yes. Mm. Well, castle's as good a place as any. Carquin, fancy a sneak, or shall I just fly up and see what's there? Oh, yeah, I, I can go for a sneak if you want to try and do it a bit more uh, quietly than normal. It, it has, I mean, re experience has shown us that uh, blindly going on without a second thought is uh, rarely leads to a success. Indeed. We're not dead. 
That is that's true. true. Point is fine. Carry on, right? Blindly charge forward. <laughs> right then. Okay. Um, right. It's all right if you die. I can pop at your corpse. It's okay. <laughs> Style. So I, I think, Steve, we left a couple of these guys on the battlements last time. So we're pretty, all, am I, we're pretty close to the. Door. You'd you'd had um, investigated from a distance, uh, but we hadn't gone into much detail about what was actually at this fort. Okay. Uh, because we just said you could see some orcs in the battlements, and you could see some ogres on the battlements as well, and it's kind of. It's a higher elevation than what you are, so you've got like a little, a little bit of a valley kind of thing where you can look towards it, but it's kind of nestled onto the side of, a, of, of one of the mountains. So from where you are, um, you can just kind of see it ahead of you, and okay. it's just starting to get dark, and you can see kind of firelight coming from within. So there's obviously people with uh, creatures with torches, and you could just make out uh, orcs and that patrol in it. Okay, Are so we far um, enough away that we can do like the the middle distance catalog pointing pose. Yes, you are that kind of distance away. Yes. Excellent, excellent. I shall take that up, take that position up. <laughs> okay, so while he's taking that position up, I am going to stealthily get closer and have a look. So basically, as I said, it's kind of like halfway up the hillside. There is um, a sheer drop on the kind of southern edge of this. And there's this little winding trail which goes up to like a main gatehouse, which is on the eastern side of this. The kind of the northern and western edge are built into the kind of side of the hill. Okay. But you can make out there's like a an actual proper like wall, like a you know ca proper castle wall with towers. But then in front of that, you can make out like a palisade of wooden spikes, as well. <coughs> okay, so on the vertical. South face, yeah. What's on top of that? Is that um... so? You got the you've got this like almost sheer drop, and this path kind of going up to the woods the north of it. To, it gets to the main gatehouse, but that vertical thing has got like a um, like a pulley system with like a basket that can be, you can see that like you can just make out the mechanism of something that can be oh, okay. lowered down to lift things up. So like at the wall, yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> So there's two. You can see two ways of getting in. Basically, this, this path that goes directly up to the main gatehouse, and then this little built into the kind of like unattached to where this like wooden palisade is. Yeah. This little like lift mechanism, which is little more than just a basket on some ropes or chains. Is all you can make make out. So I don't like the I don't like the front door option. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to use my slippers. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to pop on good. my gold sparkly slippers. Yeah. And I'm going to go up the south face, leaving the basket alone and whatnot, and uh, go straight up. Right then. So did you say something, Andy? Sorry, yeah. I mean, how, how roughly how tall is the wall of this castle? <clears throat> uh, the walls are about 20 feet, and the palisade's about 10 feet. Okay, so it's not that big then. All right. Mm, yeah. But it doesn't need. You can tell it doesn't need to be absolutely massive walls because you've got. You know, it, it, as I said, it's built on the side. It's got a defensible, yeah, 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 yeah it's an undefensible sure. position anyway. Mm. Right. So what I'm going to do is just bear with me a second. Just considering how much I'd be able to float high if I chose to. Optional cheese it strategy, you know. <laughs> Fair She's enough. Out and we're in a courtyard. Bye. <laughs> Is the is the gate open? Um, no. Right, let me just see what you can see here. Hopefully, it's all load for you. I've got a fantastic black screen. Oh, there we go. Yep, yep, you can see that. Yep, bottom so, right. So, this oops, wrong mouse button. This here. It's kind of the main gatehouse. This is the sheer wall here, and this area here is where the um, kind of uh, mechanism is. What's uh, this stuff on the ground here? So, ah, uh, that's just that. That's just uh, the, the, this is just like the 
the uh, the rock face here. Okay. So I said that that bit. If you imagine this bit here is quite is like a sheer drop, so a cliff a cliff side basically. Mm -hmm. Where are we down the bottom? And you're you'll be down here. Yeah. Well, uh, apart from Cockwind, who is now magic slippering up the side of this slope. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. He's such a free spirit. <laughs> uh, gee, I take it you're being stealthy. I would like to be. Can you, you make me a stealth roll? check for me, please? This could be a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okie doke. So the area where you're moving to is quite dark, and when you get to the top of it, it reveals... Uh, can you see? Ooh. Basically to there. You can see like a... So these are the walls of the castle. Ooh. And these are, you can just make out a tower. Well, you can see a tower here and a tower there. And there's like this separation between the walls of the castle and where this wooden palisade is. And in between all these areas are all these um, like huts. Okay. <clears throat> and can I see any activity in these huts? Are they like little camp huts or something like that? Yeah, well, they're, they're more like a, like a tribal hut. Um, you can hear um, the noise of... Uh, do you speak orc perchance? Me, no, I don't. No, you can hear the kind of guttural sounds that you recognize as being orc coming from this kind of direction. So, what you can just make out as well is the basically the main gatehouse is there in that area. <clears throat> and you can make out if I just do that, that might make it a bit clearer. You can make out, uh, and the odd one or two orc emerges from a tent and then heads in that direction as well. Okay. Um, so. Can I uh, lower a rope or something to the others from where I am? Is there some um, some stuff around I can secure some rope to? Yeah, because where, where you've got has got these mechanisms for those, and the palisades as well, so there's lots of things you can secure your stuff to. Yeah, I was planning not to use the basket, Andy, oh, okay. on account of uh, it drawing a bit too much attention. So Fair dues. Are these more huts potentially flammable? Just asking um, for a friend. They all seem to be made out of like animal hides. They don't look like they've dried. They're possibly. They're not that dry, but they could be. Okay. Um I do I have a rope? I must have a rope. Yes, I have got a rope. We all have rope. <clears throat> um Right. So I will I will do that, I think. I will drop a rope just in case the guys need it. I'll secure yeah. it to um some hefty tree stump or a bit of palisade or something that'll hold their weight. Yeah, well, the, the actual mechanism itself ideal. Tie it off to something on that that will easily hold. Yeah. Yeah. Tie it off that, drop it down, and I'm going to carry on quietly in I'll tell you what, hang the palisade a second. Area. Let me just hang on a second and I will grab your character tokens. Are these 10 or 5 foot squares, Steve? These are 5 foot squares. Okay. So, Cockwind, you're here. Mm -hmm. And everyone else is kind of scurrying up. Okay. So... so athletics check, or is it assumed we can climb rope? <clears throat> um, it's assumed you, you take your time and climb the rope. As you said, there seems to be some kind of... You can hear chanting and kind of shouting coming from this kind of direction. Okay, so I'm going to stay away from so, that direction for a minute. And I'm going to come over this way. And can I have a wee look inside this hut without drawing any attention to myself? I'll yeah. check for any noises inside before I do anything, of course. Yep. Okay, um, so I'll uh, lift a bit of the hide out of the way and, and uh, peek inside. 
Um, so, do, 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 do. Um, so, which one are you looking at? Uh, one of those ones. So, you go inside and find that this hut is completely empty. Oh. Okay. Um, can I um, try this one? Okay, so you go into the, that hut. Uh, there's no signs of any orcs in there, but there's that kind of like what looks like stuff that could be used for bedding material, some old furs, some manky straw, that kind of thing. Okay. And has it been used recently? Has it looked like it's... Yeah, it, it's, it smells like fresh orc in there. <laughs> All right. Which, well. You know, kind of like old, an, an old wet dog, basically. Okay. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll check this one. Nice. Um, so... Da, 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 da. So that one that's slightly incontinent. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that one as well has got this bedding in as well. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to leave the rest of them. I want to come over here a bit, and can I have a look and see what's what's this way? So you can see the um, the kind of wall carries on around the outside. I don't know why that's just done that. Okay. So you can see this here is like a major tower. This is like th th this building here. It's taken at the bottom left corner of the castle is like the biggest part of the castle, okay, like a huge man. tower. Uh, you've got a guard tower kind of thing here, but you've got some kind of rocky steps, which they're obviously the foundations of the of the of the castle itself. Mm -hmm. And then here is a much bigger tent which is kind of built into the side wall of the castle. So it's like an awning, but it's bigger and kind of more, obviously like bright, more brightly coloured than the other ones, if that makes sense. Yep. Um, I'll approach it carefully. And uh, if there's no sign of anyone around, I'll have a look inside it. There's no signs of anyone around. Uh, but this seems to be like a much better... Um, set out it's got like a still wouldn't quite call it a comfortable bed but something that's more resembling a, a bed than just a pile of crap basically okay so it'd be like maybe a uh a, a captain's tent or something i guess yeah okay is there anything of value in terms of information any any i don't know if orcs do much writing but any sort of notebooks or plans or bags of cash uh make usual, an, usual caper make an investigation check <laughs> coincidentally you find a complete soliloquy <laughs> <laughs> penned for next week's oratorio <laughs> so um you notice a couple of things number one there is a um a chest a locked chest which uh in, in the corner of the tent um do, 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 do. um and do, 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 i think oh no yeah and you also notice that a kind of tapestry you can see that the castle wall has been used for like the back walls of this and the tapestry is uh like been stuck to the wall and it's hiding a passageway into the tower it's into the castle itself Ooh. Ooh. okay so first off let's uh let's drop the old uh lock on that locked chest right what are the rest of you guys doing while he's doing that uh i think i think our thumbs are firmly inserted on our asses at this point um yeah. well, but by the time he's snuck around the edges and, and had a good um, ferret through what's in that big tent, you'll have, you guys will all have made it to the top. Yeah, I think okay. it would be good to head that way, just so, you know, in case he needs to run away, we can cover him. Well, 
What are we doing? Well, we don't know what's in these tents. So Bollocks. They work Sorry. With a, a, a mooch. Who's sneaky? Because I'm not. <laughs> Imnek looks down at his armour up at uh, Arrakis and is like, <laughs> definitely not I'm me. Okay. Well, looks like you get the vote. Have a poke. As uh, Cockwin seems to have left this behind, either he's too busy ransacking the place, <laughs> bugger all here. Do your own sneaking. Right then, so I will. I'll just charge into one of these tents. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I see a problem with your method. <laughs> Okay, uh, which one are you going for? Um, the nearest one, this one here. I'll just jump. I've checked, I've checked that one. So you go in there. Oh, yeah, you don't do The tent is completely empty. Oh, I'm disappointing. There is absolutely no sign of uh, anything there at all. Hmm. I'll poke my head out and go, mm, bit orky. <laughs> bit orky. But I suppose you took the message cantrip, Arrakis. I did not, no. I know someone who did. And has uh, never stopped us uh, remind reminding us of it. Although he's no, been curiously quiet for a while. I, I believe that is a more powerful spell he is using. More distance. Or is he potentially using sending? I believe so, yes. Uh, no, I did not. <clears throat> My spells are, uh, shall we say, more offensive. Mm. They certainly are. Right, <clears throat> Sid, Cockwind. Uh, right, yeah. what did you get to your thief tools? Uh, yes, I think that's done it. So you find a little <laughs> chest uh, full of uh, some knickknacks and gold. You find um, around about 130 gold pieces in various coinage. Mm -hmm. Um, you find a cloth with ribbon, which uh, has been embroidered with uh, electrum by the looks of it. Um, a, a diadem, some earrings, and some very nice leather gloves, and a painted glass bowl. Are they murder gloves? Oh, well, hang, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Basically, the, each cloth one, each ribbon. cloth ribbon, uh, yeah. a, 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 some, a diadem. Diadem, yep. Yep, some earrings. Earrings, yep. Uh, leather gloves, yeah, and a painted glass bowl. Okay, for when we, what, we, we go to a swinging party and throw our keys in. So, I so I will uh clearly lift the lot, <laughs> uh, it's a given, right? Um, and uh, I'm curious about the items, is there anything about them that doesn't feel right, you know, like when I picked up the slippers, is there something about the gloves or the um, ribbon? Have you got any ability that gives you that? Um, I don't know. What you, was can what make, I you can make an arcanum check, see if anything jumps out at you. Nothing jumps out at you being magical at this point. They all look like they're just items of value. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep hold of them. Gosh, if only we had someone with a staff that could cast a tech magic in our group, that'd be great. I'll ask one. I'll ask one of the grown-ups later on and what the fuck this stuff is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it if you just go back and get some fucking gloves, mate. <laughs> that's fine, mate. I'm happy they like that. proper murder gloves. Yeah, proper nice leather murder gloves. Excellent. Yeah. What's a diadem as well? It's like a tiara. Ah, okay. God, have you not I... watched Harry Potter? No. <laughs> That's the only oh, reason why I, I know. That's the only reason why I know what that is. <laughs> I got you. Do you know what? I've not actually written down what my staff can actually do. <laughs> That's probably you never use the damn thing. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. Sorry. I was just gonna say. I know that there's some. I'm pretty sure there's there's a bunch of charges which you can use for detect magic and a couple of other things, but I don't remember. Yes, I can't remember what they are. Can you remind uh, me, Steve? As I have a tune. Um, off the top of my head, no. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll just make it up as I go along. One of them, I'm pretty sure, was Wish. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> I believe it was 3D4 uses of that. Per hour. Yeah. It was the Staff I Staff, seven charges. That's the one. You can use it to cast Ray of Frost for no charges. 
Ooh, Detect thing. magic for one charge and dimension door for four charges. Ooh. Zero. Uh, what was that? Detect magic for two charges. No, ray of frost for zero. Yeah. Detect magic for one. Dimension four. door for four. Ooh. Yeah. And they recharge at dawn. Uh, yes, standard recharging rules. Sure. So you have to roll a dice, and if you get a six, it fizzles out. Okay, Ray of Frost, de detect. Yeah, spell that and do all done. Dimension door. That's bloody good. That is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right, you then. you lifted the staff off him before he had a chance to use it. Basically, what was going to happen is as soon as you started to fight, he was going to go dimension door out of there. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> but swapping it for a broom, his plan was punk. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> bunk, 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 bunk. <laughs> Did you forget to charge it? Excellent. Right then, I shall. Uh, well, I'm not going to tell Cockwin that I've got this power. I'll just see if he can remember it. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Right. Because um, if that... he's using Caramel, break Cockwin's got a fuck all chance. Cockwin's too slow for that sort of caper. Um, right. Uh, so. Uh... On that basis, I still don't know where the others are yet. I'm assuming they're they're clattering around, making a. Well, yeah, noise. you can hear Imnet coming from a mile away. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, I will now pop my head out of the tent and um, try and get their attention to come over to my um, location. So I'll, I'll sort of beckon quietly, like a pfft, sort of way of doing it, and they'll clank over, banging from hundred feet away. away. Um, sounds like a bag of coins as you move. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll I'll tell them that uh, I've found I found a way in, guys. It's inside this tent. It's a passageway. Oh, there you are. It sounds oh, useful. Found. I found some stuff. I'll show you later. Of course. You have. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I'm entirely shocked. <laughs> Actually, as you are a magic-y person, you tell me what this stuff is, and I'll show him the uh, the ribbon, the tiara thing. <laughs> I've like, just imagined you just presenting Arrakis this ribbon, like, look at this, mate. Wait, what's it's this? Like, what's this? What's it's this like, uh, it's like Antiques Roadshow at this point. It's like, <laughs> oh, well, where did this come from? Well, this has been in my family for generations. That's well... It. Three minutes. <laughs> come on, come yeah. on, Fiona Bruce. Tell me, it's tell me what's going on with this stuff. Four pound fifty. <laughs> <laughs> have, it, have you insured this item? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we made a mistake. <laughs> I'll just look at Cockwin as he holds it up to me. I hope this is not a proposal. No, no, no proposal. I just, I just found this stuff. It was just lying around, unattended, and I, I just don't know what it is. Is it worth anything? Is it magic? It's a ribbon and a bowl, my friend. Okay. Do your fancy can I can it? I feel anything from it at all, Steve, without using any magical items? Do so, I get a, a sense of? Go on, make an arcana check. Okay. It's a bowl, mate. It's a bowl. It's a bowl. <laughs> you don't get anything from it at all. Okay. Uh, it's 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 a bowl, my friend. All right. It might have good, good fruit in it. I just got a feeling. I got a feeling it's more than that. What about uh, what about our druid? Druid, you say anything? Sure, else? why not? This stuff. Hand me that goddamn bowl. <laughs> <laughs> bowl. It's just gonna be a fucking fruit cocktail bowl, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> let's just pass it around the party. Why not? As, as, as far as you can work, Silver, I work out, Silverna. It's um, something these civilized folk used to serve um, this bizarre dessert made out of sponge. <laughs> And then eggs and milk. <laughs> Grab your fucking bowl back, mate. <laughs> With a yellow back, substance yeah. mostly based around milk. Yes. Right. So we'll, uh, Occasionally. I'll suggest that Auntie can make a trifle in it later. <laughs> <laughs> right. You sure you don't want to hand it over to uh, him, Nick? Let him have a look at it. <laughs> Make sure everybody's having a good... <laughs> Make sure everybody's appreciating this box. <laughs> hey, him e next everyone, if he wants. everyone seems to assume that there's something something going well, on with it. So it, I, might as I well... didn't, but I thought I might as well have a look. It's, it's, 
it, round oh. and appears to hold things. <laughs> it's just one of those moments where the DM just casually throws in a piece of information that all the adventures go, ooh! <laughs> it must be part <laughs> of the DM mentioned it. Time stories all over again. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bowl. Okay, so it's definitely a bowl. What about the gloves? I'm not going to don't, don't go around. <laughs> They'll they'll turn out kicking. They'll turn out to be like gauntlets of ogre strength or something, and we won't discover that for four fucking chapters. Oh, yeah. Just, just put us out. Detect magic. I mean, yeah, put us out of our misery. Do that. Uh, do detect magic. Flying. You'll, you'll have to sigh and just wobble the staff around a little bit, and I'll cast detect magic. <laughs> the theatrical the effect. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it just. A right, yeah, you get to see everything magic around you, mate. It's like you'd mm -hmm. have to use it on something. Else. No, I'll just weave it around a little bit. Yeah, is there there's... any magic in the local vicinity, DM? No, no, didn't think so. <laughs> Thank God. What yeah, we have, in fact, it's... found is somebody's dining gloves and their pudding and their bowl. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. <laughs> One of these orcs is very picky about holding bowls and other things with his bare hands. Kipping. Right. Okay, um, so on that basis, I'm going to go into the castle. Or Is that cat? That's my cat, yes. <laughs> it wants well, to kind of check the ball. Right, uh, if I draw something there, can you see it, Sid? Uh, Above where your thing is? No, okay. Yeah. Right, okay, so the... Um, the can of the, the it's actually a built in passageway and it goes east and west. Um, and you can see it kind of goes as far as like the tower on the left and right of you, okay. Uh, but about just to your left, there's like a portcullis is blocking it off. That's blocking off one direction or both yeah. directions, just blocking off the uh, the to your left, so the western direction. I have a familiar. Um, is it locked, the portcullis, or is it... Well, it's oh, it's dropped. A mechanism. Oh, so it's yeah. not a mechanism. So it's, dro I... it's dropped blocking the passageway, basically. Okay. Can I see where the mechanism to lift it is? Or is it... Um, can I follow the rope or chain or whatever it is? And um, see where the as opening... As far as you can work out... Um... Anything to control, there's no controls or anything. Any mechanism is built into the ceiling, so it's right, okay. above where you can get to. Okay, it's time um, to cast Thunderwave. <laughs> <laughs> in which case, I um, can we try lifting it? Can I call over Derek and or Inek and uh, somebody with any vague strength try and lift it? Uh, you can attempt it, uh, it'll take make a strength check. And uh, if someone is helping you, you'll get advantage. Um, I'm well, none of us are strong, but I'm actually proficient in athletics. So if someone assists me, I'll probably have the best chance. That's probably better because my strength is crap. Yeah, yeah, mine's um, 10. Oh. Mine's, I think, 10 as well. Actually, right, yeah, you go. So I'll, you I'll, get I'll, I'll give it a tug, as it were. Okay, so you two are all stronger than me, so help, uh, yeah. help him neck. I'll go high, I'll someone else go low. Go on then. Okay. Just, <laughs> yeah. Oops, that's a save. Sorry, doesn't matter. I suppose it's still a zero. I thought. Do we still have to roll for assistance? Sorry. No, no. no uh, it, gets, it gets advantage if you're assistant. Ah. So. So I keep laughing because every time so you just hear yeah. these cats cat. yelling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he probably wants out. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm okay with it. It's just really funny. <laughs> It does that thing now. It'll stand by the door and look at the door and go, What the fuck do you want, mate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, does the, as I think Andy can still hear us, does the athletics do anything? Do, are we able no. to lift the grate? No, you're not able to lift it. Uh, okay. Good. In which case, um, I'll toddle off in the eastern path. Okay. So you head off on the eastern path. 
perfectly right. I could still hear you. Can you make a dexterity saving throw, Sid? Oh, bloody oh. hell. Yes, I can. Behave. Dexterity saving throw, 15. Is it a trap? There is indeed a trap. <laughs> oh, dear. Shite. Shite. Are you in trouble? You just about right. Um, you, you step on something and hear a click. <laughs> uh, it's just at that point you hear the grating noise of a portcullis start to drop above you. You're oh, just dear. about quick enough to dive out of the way. Do you dive forwards or backwards? I am. You dive forwards. Dive turn to forwards. page twenty-four. <laughs> you dive forwards. Yeah, so you dive yeah. forwards, and so the portcullis drops. Separating you from the rest of the party. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. I'll, uh, Bye. I'll, 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 I'm going to do an Indiana Jones roll to make sure I grab my hat <laughs> so I'm on the wrong side of it. And I will uh, stand up, dust myself well for a minute. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Idiot. Um, I'll, uh, I guess I'm going this way then, guys. It Assuming that so. this isn't just a little room and it is actually a tunnel, <laughs> you, you, can, you can make out a doorway to the um, to the east. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is a sneaking mission. I suggest you guys find another way in. I'm going to head down this eastern tunnel. I think it's going to head along the wall. So perhaps you could find or, or stay close on the other side of the wall, and I'll try and find a way to let you in. Yeah. See if you can find a mechanism to raise this again. Yeah. Um, if someone wants to assist me, I can try and push it up again. Mm, I'll give it a go. Okay. So which which one are you trying to lift, sorry? Uh, the one Cochrane just dropped. One Cochrane just dropped. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Source was not really known for their strength. No. Yeah. Hell. Ah, Imnek, with a little assistance from Cockwind, you've managed to just about lift it off the ground far enough to people to get under it. Yeah. Excellent. Is there anything I can find or lying around, Steve, to wedge it open with? Uh, Any make, like uh, rocks uh, or bones or anything like that? An investigation check, please. Quickly, if you please. <laughs> Um, you don't find anything to wedge it open, but uh, in between the portcullis and the doorway, you find another pressure pad. In between the portcullis and the doorway? Yeah. Oh, right. So basically, if you... Yeah, can I stand on it? <laughs> okay. Uh... Well, I, 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 Make I, 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 another dexterity save, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Shut up, Andy. We hopefully got away with that. Uh... Oh, dear. Right, okay. Um... So, we've got Imnek holding a door open, me yeah. standing on another pressure pad, which I knew about. The Rackus and the Drew are just watching the two of them. <laughs> Let's see outside. how this goes. So, 16, yeah. you managed to, even though you've purposely stepped on the pressure pad, you managed to step out the way really quickly as a scythe swings out the wall and <laughs> misses you by inches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is a scythe now lodged in the wall? I've it's, got a yeah, stick. Um, you might be able to pull it apart, yeah. Yeah. Can I pull that scythe off the wall then and yep. uh, try and use it to wedge open the portcullis before Imnek shits himself? Um... <laughs> Imnek does have a regular longsword on him that might be able to be used as a prop while you do that, if someone would want to take it out. <laughs> okay, um... why are both... By both the scythe and the longsword, you manage to prop it up, but it's like it kind of like waist height or head height for <laughs> Cockwind. So Cockwind can kind of just duck his head to go into the rest of you have to crawl to get into it. I'll just look at Silvano and go, shall we go that way? <laughs> <laughs> Not split the party again. All right. Okay, so... Uh... I, I guess we're all going that way then. Based on the shenanigans, I'm assuming, Steve, that there's no other traps that are on my way now. No, you haven't. You haven't there's no other traps that you can see now. Right, okay. So I'll uh, I'll carry on towards the door at the end of the tunnel. Okay, then. Right. I'm going to move you around a little bit here. Okay. 
because uh, this is a multi-leveled dungeon castle, and uh, mm, there's some foreshadowing. So I have to uh, do a bit of jiggly pokery to get this to work. So you have revealed all this area here. Good grief. After 16 or so sessions of Dungeons and Dragons, you mean we're actually in a dungeon? Well, I say dungeon is <laughs> a generic term. <sighs> the true dungeons were inside us all along. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. After workshop, that one. Mm. <laughs> all right. So if you go to the bottom map, the very bottom of the map. What do you want? Come on. Right. In the kitchen. So the area you've just come into is kind of going there and the passageway comes either side. But the portcullis is there and the portcullis is there. Okay. So I'm assuming you are now all in this room here. Mm -hmm. So. You are the pain. Oh. Okay. I'd suggest you keep looking for traps, Cockwind, and maybe be a bit more careful about dealing with them. <laughs> I'll try and disarm them next time in a more uh, uh, effective manner. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will do another investigation check, uh, Steve, to see okay. if there's any traps or any other dangers lurking nearby. Uh, no, you don't find much interest. Okay, uh, I'm assuming this is a stairway here, is it? And yeah, so uh, this you're in the bottom of the tower. There's a door leading out and a stairs leading up. Okay, I'm going to. What am I going to do? Um, can I have a? Can I check the door? Is it locked? It is unlocked. Unlocked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I peer through the key keyhole and see what's on the other side, or through a crack in it? Or... Um, it's leading. As far as you can work it out, it leads out to the courtyard. And can I hear any orcses? Um, no, you can't. Okay. Can I hear any noises coming from up the stairs? Uh... <laughs> yeah, you can Very hear ferocious. vague conversation, just quite light. Up, uh, coming from up the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to look to the others for a bit of a, a bit of an opinion. <clears throat> I think I can hear voices at the top of this tower. And there's a doorway there that probably leads into the courtyard. I don't like the voice? idea of entering a courtyard. Mm -hmm. That does sound rather bad. I would say clear the tower above us first. Yeah, I agree. Agreed. Okay. Right, let's, uh, we'll mosey up the, up, the, up the stairs then, DM. Okay. Can you yeah, tell Michael. what kind of voices there are? <clears throat> hey? Can you tell what kind of voices they are? Are they just voices? Uh, um, I don't, haven't asked that question yet. Can I tell what kind <laughs> of voices they are? Uh, no, you don't recognise the kind of voices they are. Okay. Can I recognise the language? Is it a language uh, I understand, or a uh, language I it's quite guttural? Uh, make an intelligence check. Is it German? Is it Germans? Mm, could be Orkish. It could be Dwarven, or some kind of variation thereof. All right. I'll shout that. It's I'll Dwarven. Shout. I don't know. I'll say to Arrakis, it's uh, ah, no, it's a bit grunty. Sounds like those orky windows that we heard outside, but different. Well, that's helpful. Wow. Uh, I'm not oh, known for my deep. bilingual skills, am I? Common in sorry. Uh, well, it ain't common infernal or draconic, I'm guessing. So uh, that's me out. <laughs> and if it's I've got I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got common Judic and dwarvish and elvish. So. So what's everyone doing then? Uh, heading up the tower. <laughs> okay. And it will bring it to the rear. So, if you go to the area Thank above, you. oh yeah, okay. As I said, this is quite a complicated map. This is quite a map. This. <laughs> yeah. 
So as you reach the stairs, you can see two ogre-like figures staring out of the arrow, arrow slits, mumbling them to themselves in whatever language it is they speak. Okay, so I will now uh, <laughs> speak downwards quietly or head back down quietly and tell everyone, it's two fucking ogres up here. I need some help if we're going to take them down. Or they're looking the other way and leave them alone. I think that might be difficult with him. No offense to him, isn't it? All right. Then. We'll have to take them then. It's like. Um, can, I assume they're both looking out the out the portcullises. Yes. The the, yeah, they're both they're both looking out of the arrow slits. Yeah. Uh, can I tie their legs together? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> First of all, make a stealth check. <laughs> Arrakis is going to stay. Okay. There. Um, then make a sleight of hand check. <laughs> <laughs> the short answer to that question is yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> I will go ahead and I will booby trap them by tying their legs together. Okay. So you and, get your uh, rope out and you I've got my rope out and I've sort of tied them in a knot so not too tight they don't notice they've been tied together but not it. too loose so they'll enough fall to, to the floor. Enough to hamper them if they were to if they were to get into a fight, they would yes. be somewhat disadvantaged. Right. And, and at that point I will nip back downstairs and I will tell the the heavy tanks of the party that <laughs> over to you guys. Just look at him naked. The tank, you mean? Yeah. I can get up to yeah. six to nine hit points now. There you go. Oh, see. Right, it's you two then. Off you go. Yeah. Trot on. I don't actually have any better AC though. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Found his AC. Doesn't get any better. Right. Your neck will just cast his fiendish vigor on himself. I'll just recharge it, and uh, then he will stride perversely up the stairs. Okay. With a, with a sorcerer in tow. <laughs> I'll, just lo a I'll loiter in the background. Okay, um, so we've got Imnek and a sorcerer. Yeah. Kind of roughly there. Uh, can you make an initiative roll, gents? What's this easy issue? Is it's going to be rather cramped, so... Oh, crap. I got 21, sorry, I didn't click on the thing. Well, that went well. <laughs> I guess he's just taking in the sights as he goes up the stairs. Yeah. Why are we going up here again? <laughs> oh. Can you also? Are you, are you sneaking up or are you just charging up? Oh, have, I assume we know what Cockwin's done. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Extra... In that it. case, I shall nonchalantly uh, stride up the stairs. Mm hmm. As as I am famed for doing. Okay, they don't seem to have noticed you at the moment. They're still looking at the at the at the arrow slits. Mm -hmm. They seem to be talking to each other in giant. Oh, I can understand giant. So they seem to be saying, well, "Where are those orcs gone? Uh, what's the bear baiting again? Uh, should we go check them out? Yeah, let's go check them out." And so they, they then turn round and see you two standing at the top of the stairs. Mm. Ah, so. you must be the tour guide. Hmm. Bear baiting sounds like fun. But why don't we do some ogre baiting, whatever you are, baiting or whatever you are. Oh, you're doing the tough talk. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you don't understand. I'm speaking in giant to them. Um, <laughs> you probably you know I'm negotiating our pay for the fee for the, uh, the, the tour. Uh, yeah, so they they, they holster their bows and then grab the axes they got their belts. Mm -hmm. oh. Whatever you said, I don't think it went down well. How about it? Yeah, it wasn't intended to. <laughs> what did you say? Did you anger the ogres? What have we talked about? I, uh, I, I, I just mentioned how keen you were to fight them. Uh, I believe they. they uh, they want to duel with you. Oh, well, in that case, bring it on. 
Come on, and you're in knuckle step back and let let them have at him. <laughs> Come on, then yeah. you silly old bastards. Yeah, our uh, inlet will just sort of stride up and uh, stick a sword into one of them. Frankly, fair enough. Not much room for subtlety. Direct approach. Yep. Ooh, it's what we're best at. Yep. Yep. Let's go with that. What's going there? Okay. I'm just trying to think if I want to cast any spells before I do. Um. Uh, mm. so my map seems to want to do Lally. Ah, there we are. I right. Excellent. I'll... Cool. I don't think I will at this point, so I will just swing away. Would it not be better to let them walk to you so they're prone? Just a thought. Uh, well, there's not really much room to allow them to. So that is a... She... Ah, so you get into range combat with them. Oh, sorry, I've hit the wrong one. You've got... Yeah, I, was yeah. I don't think you updated it. Yeah, no, 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 I have my sword out. Yeah. That one. Aha, that is a hit. Mm. And it's doing 13 points of damage. Yeah. And, uh, phew, on the reverse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slashing Jesus. his head. Is that the same guy, is it? Yeah. So you do a total of 18 points of damage to him. Yeah. Uh, which drops him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. Just like, walk up to them as they turn around as they're talking, just happily minding their own business. They're probably perfectly peaceful, lovely people. And just stab <laughs> a sword into them, put it around and take his head off. <laughs> into it, all of us have our legs together, and you just went. <laughs> but well, now he's well, tied to a dead weight. Yeah. Whilst this is happening, you're just watching Imnek just cut this ogre down. <laughs> Arrakis will just lean against the wall and start to smoke and just watch what's going on. <laughs> with, with that initiative roll, certainly. <laughs> so the uh, the creature uh, swings at you with its uh, axe. Boink. Uh, hits armor class 10. So that's, yes. Dink. Cockwind. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Right, ignore the damage. The damage is, uh, I'll explain the damage when I get to it. Okay, um, I will come up the stairs. Yep. And I will um, pop a short bow at a uh, crossbow at him. Um, I'll have one of them. That's a hit. As you'll get your sneak attack damage as well. 3d6, is it now? Yep. yep. You're welcome. Because uh, you were in 5 16. Yeah, because yeah, in next in combat with him. So, yep. You hit him in the side in the rib cage and start bleeding quickly. Uh, Savannah, are you doing anything? Uh, I don't think I can see him, so I'm going to keep an eye on this door that's also down here. Okay. It's looking threatening. Yeah. Uh, Rackets. I'll get ready in action, I guess, with my bow. To... <sighs> yeah. okay. I'll, I'll go to light a cigarette and just fling a fireball at his, uh, his orcishness. <clears throat> uh, there's not much point in expending anything else. He seems to be on his last legs. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> A casual flick of the wrist. That hits him. He's uh, looking more than a little weary. Back to him, Nick. Okay. Uh, I'll, back, uh, over uh, uh, back over his shoulder. That's more, more than your usual damage, I believe. Well, it seems to be easier when you don't try. And yeah. I, with that, I'll just casually use my movement to walk down the stairs. <laughs> 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 Disappear. Yeah. And then neck basically slices this thing yeah. into nothingness. Yeah. Excellent. Smooth. Okay. What's next? You've dispatched them in seconds. Yeah. The, uh, um, I think uh, yeah. the... Not that anyone's around to, to see it, though, but uh, y y if you could, you'd sort of see the the blood on the sword sort of starts to drip down and then starts to reverse its course and drip black back up and up and seems to fall and be absorbed into the sword itself. As the invocation is called Thirsting Blade, so I'm assuming that makes sense, like that. yeah. Yeah. That's uh, more than a little ominous. 
it just oh, like, I just get an extra attack with my pack weapon. That's all it means. But it's just nice. It sounds cool. Mm. I will uh, recover my bit of rope that uh, was completely unnecessary. <laughs> it was a good uh, idea. But... I will uh, continue. I'll just do a quick search of these ogres and see if they've got any um, battle plans, door keys, key codes, etc., etc., etc. No, nothing useful on them, I'm afraid. Okay. Um, so we've got a couple of doors up here, I guess, leading onto the battlements. You gather by the height you're at that they probably will be leading onto the battlements, yeah. Okay, so uh, can I peer through the crack, keyhole, etc., to see what's... Um, yeah, you just, all you can see from the, the, probably being dark outside, all you can just make out is it probably leads to outdoors. Okay, can I hear any voices on either side of the on the doors? Other side, not doors? close by. You can st when you're uh, putting your ear to the one to the east, you can hear the uh, shouting of the orcs. That's about it. Okay. Still off in a distance. Okay, so what do you reckon, guys? West or east? Well. Didn't we hear the, the the sound coming from of people coming from the east? east. And I, I heard the uh, ogres mention something about bear baiting. So perhaps there is some sort of entertainment going on that way. So should we leave them to it and go and find mm. get deeper in? Right? Okay. I'll yeah. Go west like then. Mid. I, I think they're uh, really comfortable with the idea of uh, leaving a poor defenseless bear on two. <clears throat> and the druid should be particularly pissed off, I would have thought. <laughs> no, I can't do. Hmm? Uh, I'm of spores now, anyway. So, yeah, it, it, especially he's, not. He's more interested in the bear's corpse, anyway. So, have at it as far as he knows. <laughs> so, which way? Which way? Uh, he would have ended up like that. Yeah. And we go west. Go west. Yeah. west. Okay. So, yeah. Make use of the distraction while we have it. I will reveal kind of more of this map while we're here. Also, am I mad? Or has Arrakis's token disappeared? I it's moved disappeared. it. He moved it. Oh, right. It's here. here. Yeah. Uh, I wandered down the stairs to find you looking at the door. I was keeping an eye out in case something came from downstairs. Right. I didn't uh, the in the back. You can see... Kind of the uh, a good proportion of the courtyard. Ooh. Imnet will just sort of carefully peek out of the the door to the west, but it won't sort of go out. So you can see from the door to the west, you can see basically as far as the other tower. Then. Oh, it's the uh, ah, it's the uh, what's the word? Not conservatory. Balcony. The smoking balcony. Excellent. Light the smoking up. balcony. <laughs> okay. Um, so we've got... Uh, we've got a dead end here, are we? On this door? West way? Yeah, it just, just goes straight to the tower with no door leading to it. Okay. Is there um, a window or anything high up on the tower? Or is it just those little bow slit type windows? Battlements, by the looks of it. Yeah, it's just uh, it's just battlements and what have you there. I say, okay. lovely view. Can we see anything in the courtyard? Is there anything going on? Yeah, you can make out actually. Um, there is a couple of ogres, kind of just milling round. In fact, you can see three of them. Oh, easy. A fair amount of ogres. Mm. Okay, well, let's, well, let's, let's keep it quiet then, boys. Um, let's go the other way. There's nothing to go in this direction. Agreed. Let's make haste before they see us. <laughs> Fucking hell, cockwind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come Zoom. cockwind for nothing. <laughs> hey, move, dash action, dash bonus action. Yeah, that's it, move. Right, okay, so you can see... Um, as you go across this battlement, you can see this other battlement here. Uh, hang on. So 
you can see another courtyard. Okay. Um, in which you can make out. Um, this is kind of like the outer bailey courtyard. Um, there's a portcullis separating this from the main gatehouse, which is to the east. Okay. Uh, but there's no, there's no one kind of in this area at the moment. All right. And uh, there's a door in front of me, isn't there? Yeah, leading into the tower. Yeah. Okay. Can I hear any voices on the other side of the door? Uh, make a perception roll. No, you can't hear anything coming from the other side of the um, door. Well, it's quite clearly all um, empty then. Open the door. Is it locked? No, it's open. Okay. Oh, Rackus has just walked in anyway. <laughs> Rackus is through then. Crack on, bud. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, we opened the door to an empty room. Yeah, that's more or less what you've just done, yeah. Jeez. You've opened the door to an empty guard tower. Which has a door Step leading aside, out. Junior. We're down. not even for this sneaking around. And arrow slits, which allow you to see further into this kind of area here. And you can make out more of what's going on here. In fact, you can probably see quite a bit of this now. In fact, I will do that. Ooh. Ooh this is okay. quite a castle. Yeah. Quite a gap, isn't it? So what you can make out here is the is a pit. You can look down into it. So you look down into the kind of the, the the kind of dry moat, which is where all these tents are. There's a main gatehouse, which is this thing here. Um, and then here, this is like a tower where you can see loads of orcs are situated, and, and they're all cheering at what's going on down in this pit here. <laughs> can we see what is going on down in that? Pit? Uh, you can just make out there's. Uh, a couple of bears, and the orcs have got the bears on chains, so I'm pulling them back and letting them go at certain times. And then fighting them appears to be, uh, from the height and his stockiness, appears to be a dwarf armed only with a frying pan. <laughs> and he's just doing his best to fight the uh, the, the dwarfs, the, 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 the bears back. And what's happening is the orcs are allowing the bears to get close enough to like hit him and wound him, and then pulling the bears back. So they don't get quite enough chance to kill him. But so yeah. presume this dwarf is uh, an unwilling participant. He definitely doesn't seem like he's enjoying it now. How many orcs are there? Um, it's it, it's quite difficult to count. There's at least ten or fifteen. Yeah. More importantly, does Rakis find this particularly entertaining? <laughs> the answer is yes. So are these are these orcs in the gatehouse? Are so they... basically, yeah. There's basically that building there. You can see loads of orcs on top looking down, and you can see other orcs. Uh, basically, any kind of elevated position where they can see down into the pit, yeah, okay. where they're all chanting, and you can see some orcs are laying bets on things, and then other orcs are actually controlling the chains and stuff like that. Is there a way? Can we see a way to keep those orcs trapped? In the gatehouse, or uh, are no, because they're on top and there's, uh, there's paths in and out, basically, and steps down. Would it be possible for you to get Squawk to kill some of these dwarves, uh, what, some of these orcs, <laughs> so we can let the bears run free? I could use cold lightning. Why don't we? I was thinking something like a more subtle, but ultimately, yes, that may work. Oh, they seem to be bunched up for you, gentlemen. I mean, the cold lightning could just do the job. Hmm. Good. We could just kill the bear. I mean, I was thinking about the bears as well. But... Why don't we see if we can enter into the gatehouse here and, well, you lot have at the orcs, and I'll block the path, the uh, the narrow passageway towards you. Okay. Also I works. I don't like the idea of leaving a dwarf to these no. creatures. Right. Can we can we cover our um. Our backs. So, uh, are we able to secure any doorways to avoid any, like those ogres in the other, um, in the other courtyard? Are they behind a gate or a portcullis at the moment? There's a portcullis. Um, yeah, there's a portcullis about here. Okay, and it's, it's leading down between the two. Moment. It's down at the moment. Yeah. Um. Okay, that's fine. Um. Okay. Yeah, let's do it then. Are there any surprises? Are we from anywhere else? 
I mean, it's going to be hard for, I think, the ogres to come in through. Basically, does the, the doorway that was here in the tower, does it look too small for a, an ogre? Yes, the ogres would have trouble getting through that door, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, so I think. Backs, so our backs are covered. Yes. Oh, hang on. There's a set of steps leading down here. There's a set of steps and another door leading into the next kind of area of the tower there. Mm. Right. Okay. So that, I, um, I want to see what's um, down the steps first. Imnek will put his ear against the, the doorway ahead of us and see if he can hear anything. Mm. Can you go? Okay. I really need to get the spell Summon Familiar. I think you've already done it, mate. I have. It's, it's an innate <laughs> spell. I just yeah. do it. <clears throat> you are very much. close to looking like a Bond villain, though. <laughs> this is the second of my familiars. This is Banjo. Good name. Mm, <laughs> Did I just grumble when you said his name's Banjo? It sounded like they need sort of meow. No, you can hear Kipling meowing from outside, I think. All oh, right. Uh, Banjo's just purring, ain't you? He's a happy cat. <laughs> Should we go and let him in? Right, so uh, downstairs uh, leads into like the basement of the tower, and that is currently empty. Okay, is there any uh, doors or anything? Yeah, there's... Um... Right, I'll tell you what, Sid. I will reveal it on this one here. So you can see double doors leading out to the courtyard. Oh, double doors, bollocksy bugger. Mm -hmm. uh, can I lock them, or can I put, like, have they got one of those big beams lying around that they normally have doors? Yeah, because it's, it's a defensive position, so it will have a bar there, yeah. So I'll drop that across the door away then. Does Mnick hear anything through the doorway up in the tower? So make a perception check. I did. Oh, sorry, what did you get? At 20. 20. Um, oh, I've lost my map now. I've lost my map. I've lost my map. Damn, this is complicated map, isn't it? Mm. It's a problem with two familiars. You can't keep eyes on them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> they run riot. Luckily, our dog just basically sleeps half the day. You'd think these cats would as well, but no. <laughs> uh, you can hear no noise coming from the other side of the door in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right then, in that case, straight out. <laughs> Funk. Yeah. Okay. So it reveals a horde of mute goblins. A, a small <laughs> um, room with doors leading north. Uh, and it also contains um, winch mechanisms for the drawbridge and the portcullis of the gate, main gatehouse. One of winches. Fun. Which did, did we? Is this one? So this would be uh, no, because it's the one directly above you. So it's some mechanism for something that's kind of here. Right, okay. Was the drawbridge down? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we should lift the drawbridge and drop the portcullis. I agree. <clears throat> no. Well. Uh, I guess we can. Well, we if can... we do that, we can't get out. Yeah. Yeah, we know we can get out of the way we came in. That said, we have rage weaponry. We we might not have the uh, we might not have the time or opportunity to go. In out fact, of the way we at, came. at the moment, the portcullis is down and the drawbridge is up. Oh, they're both. Oh. Up. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, so the portcullis. Is, so the portcullis is down and the drawbridge is up. Okay, well, that's fine. Then. Looking out, looking out of these uh, out of these arrow slits here. Okay. Um. Do we recognise this dwarf? Is it it's that not... guy that we sent off on his merry way? What was his uh, name? What was his Simba? name? Something Simba. No, he was a human. I think. Was he a human? Yeah. Arthur Simba. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was a human. Oh right. Okay. Hmm. 
sent him on his merry way. Just gave him the frost giants. There you go. <laughs> <Put her off. laughs> it's you or us, and we prefer us. He willingly sacrificed himself for the greater good. Yeah. For the greater <laughs> good. Yeah, 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 yeah. A way that we could um, give the dwarf a way out of the pit. From we could move the orcs. Yeah. What does Don Ancient like, Door do again? Open this door. It's essentially or, yeah, a kind like... of teleport. Yeah. He and one other person can jump 500 feet in any direction. And he doesn't even need to know the place, just have a rough idea about it. Yeah. So hang on, you could use that, drop into that pit, grab the dwarf and come back? No, he only has one. Oh, he has one. Oh, right, right, okay. So you'd go into the pit and then get eaten by bears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about this? Solid, is, solidarity is, with them. is this gate here, Steve? Mm. Um, is that what's stopping the bears and the dwarf getting out? Yes. And is the how is it locked? Uh, it's barred and what have you from the side you're on. Okay, so we. Could we use any ranged weaponries to make it not? Be it's closed? barred, so you'd have to you'd have to lift the bar off it. If only we had any chance of fire or lightning, or lightning. Now you're getting it. Or I could. You've got many options for wild scale destruction. To be honest. Yeah. Can I hear anything against this bigger door to the uh, gate? Uh, make a perception check. Nope. <laughs> Over the noise of the orcs cheering and chanting, you can't hear anything. Does uh, El Cockwind wish to try and check it out? I can. Uh, I can try. Uh, do you want a perception check from me? Yes, please. My perception <laughs> is crap. By the way. Yeah, all those <laughs> orcs are loud. Uh, I'll. Um, <laughs> I'll stealthily open the door instead. Can I try that? Okay, make a stealth check. Um, you yes, you sneak in and you see um three of these um uh, figures similar to what you saw at the other tower. Uh, um, man, this 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 tower is like open out to um the air. He says yes, it is. Um, and got my reveal gone. And there are three of these things here. Where have we gone? Curse me making such a complicated map. <laughs> and they're kind of twitchily watching the orcs. Whereas every so often, every so often this one walks around and looks at the other way. Okay. Um, I'll motion to the guys behind each three of them, same as those things we saw earlier. Hmm. Well, then. If what we do you drop think? Them, we have to drop them quietly. That might be difficult. I think we're so good at that. Yeah. Oh. Is there a bar on our side of this double door? Uh, no, these doors aren't locked. I think my friends need a distraction. Well, I reckon. I reckon the key is letting this bear out. I think we need to. Get into this. Uh, is there any? Uh, I assume that we probably can get down in through that doorway. Then that lets us access here, or like to get to there. Uh, well, I was you're, you're a level above that at the moment, so you're on the top of the tower. That's inside the kind of towers and gatehouse. This is on top where uh, where the three ogre-like figures are. Oh, that's what I mean. if, if the fireball, for example, went off in that in that area, then it would probably be quite noticeable. Yes. 
I can get downstairs to that door I barred earlier, and I could sneak out the front door. No, oh, I can't. Man. Port Culs is down, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm just being distracted by my cats now. One of them's just taking a massive dump in its litter tray, and it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Thanks, Keith. Aha! That's our distraction. Yeah. I can, <laughs> Someone I can get some poo. I can get out. I can get out by going back to the the trapped portcullis. Mm. And but then you're and you. Basically, you'll be in front of all these orcs with no assistance from us. That's a good point. Um, the orcs are in here, yeah, distracted, looking down into the pit. Steve. Yep. So there's some here. Let's let's put let's put some orcs in for for good measure. -y. I think, as it stands, probably your best bet is to clear these guys out and then just rain fire and destruction upon the orcs. Oh, that's a lot of orcs. I I don't the know way they bad yeah. <laughs> oh, there's more no. of them. Yeah, so oh, yeah. definitely can't unbar it. I know. All right, well, that's just changed things a bit, isn't it? Yeah. As I said, that, you said you, yeah, there was about, I said you counted about 15 orcs before, so... Uh... That's all right. That's one fireball's worth. It's fine. Don't worry. Yep. Um, hmm. It's 40 feet across. That's one fireball. Yep. Ooh, could we could we lure them into the um, into the main bit here? <laughs> Just all these arrows on the map now. It's yep. you go. Hmm. Fireball measurement. Yep, forty foot diameter. That'll kill all of them. Possibly the dwarf as well, but there are always casualties in war. Well, no, I think the dwarf might be handy. Let's not kill him yet. Well, he's in a pit below it, so if we. Yeah, he's yeah. in this brown stuff, isn't he? Yeah. What are you doing? Is there any orcs in the brown pit? Or no. Just the two bears. It's just the two just bears. Two bears and a dwarf in here. Okay. Uh... So well, hang on, how are you guys going to fireball all that when they're inside buildings? Where are they? Oh, is that a building? Yeah. Uh... Jesus, Kipling, that's that fucking stinks. Well, <laughs> that's why I was sort of thinking, well, if we could, like, I don't know, uh, near, so if we could, like, take out all these guys outside the building, then Imnet could, like, step forward and just block the way until next turn when he can em emerge all the other orcs. I don't know, but we need to deal with these guys. Yeah, they're the problem. Um, hmm. Hmm. And we can't redo really them quietly. No, could be carving with water. I don't think that helps much, though. To be honest, apart from maybe injuring. Yeah, none of us have a, a silent spell, unfortunately. Uh, no. no. Most of my spells are rather noisy, I'm afraid. Mm. Ice knife, maybe, but then it, it does still explode, so that's a load of shattering ice still. Thunder waves, kind of the opposite of quiet. So but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's hilarious as it is. Yeah. I think by the nature, OEA sort of area effects files don't tend to be very quiet. Yes. Mm. Well, I don't get synaptic static until level 9, 10 in my case. Yeah, unfortunately, I do not have cloud kill yet. Yeah. Well, the other um, question yeah. is let's not take them on yet and find out what else is going on in this castle. Well, how long will the dwarf last? How long would the distraction last? Good point. Good point. Um, are they distracted enough for us to um, not kill them, but you know, do a, a sort of grab the one and one at a time and bundle them into a crate, sort of? <laughs> so, what we're we talking about here at the moment? <laughs> The the orcs, the orcs seem pretty distracted. They're, uh, they're they've got their evening show. This is, looks like their evening entertainment. Mm. <laughs> Maybe we're overthinking this. Maybe we just try and kill these half ogres or whatever yeah. quickly while the orcs are distracted. And okay. well, I think it's a good shout. Yeah, yeah I think we've noise. got to get rid of them. The, the the other orcs can't get in anyway because of portcullis is down. Yes, and, the and, after, there. and the so. speed we uh, and the speed we dispatched the last two. Come on, this isn't going to be hard. Uh, if it's a level high, I'd, I'd have confusion. Uh, no, it's fine. There's only there's only three half orcs. We can take them. Right, let's go. I don't know. Okay, let's hit uh, hard. Yeah, 
in there. So just... what are you going to do then? Through the door in and charge in. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. We're going to hit him hard. Surprise. Hard and fast. Yeah. Yep. Imnek's okay. going to charge in. And by that I mean Imnek and Cochrane yeah. are going to charge in. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to, start, I'm going to stand back here with my bow and arrow and out. So. Right. Are they? What, do... Are they wearing any armor? Or is it just? Uh, those... Yeah, they're in hide armor. Hmm. Do we do we have a surprise round by the way? Um, yes, I would say you've got a surprise round because um, they are. were distracted by the orcs mm -hmm. and they weren't expecting someone to come in from outside. Um, we're waiting for an Arrakis initiative roll. Oh, my apologies. Sorry. Initiative. Arrakis, you have the initiative. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's psyched up and raring to go. So yeah. I got a free a free charge in and roll thing here. If I ran, actually, I suppose if I ran in, as long as I don't leave the five foot area, he doesn't get any, an opportunity attack, does he? Mm. So if I ran to there, for example, I'd be all right. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Right then, in which case I'll run in and <laughs> poison spray. Why not? I'll do. <clears throat> okay, so DC fifteen. What kind of check was it? Constitution, which is probably a bad thing for half over. Yeah. Oh no. Fucked <laughs> oh, <well>, <laughs> up apparently. Mm -hmm. Weak immune system. It takes yeah. Well, allergies. <laughs> Twelve damage. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, no, no, I can wait. I'm going first again, so I'll hit okay. him before he hits me. Selena? Uh, I can see sort of the one uh, Arrakis is engaged with, can't I? Yeah. At least. I might not be able to see the two Imnex engaged with them. Yeah, you'll be able to see them, yeah. So you'll be able to see the okay. Arrakis one, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to need... Make sure I've got a machine. I think we mentioned this before. I find it bizarre that poison spray doesn't actually poison people. No, it no, doesn't. It doesn't. No, it's a weird. terrible cantrip. <laughs> right, I'm just going to cast Chill Touch on one of them. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. That is right. a miss. Kind of just sort of tickled their uh, tickled their shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Wow, and you rolled double one for damage yeah. anyway. <laughs> Arrakis Arach level damage. Yeah. Uh, Arrakis yeah. has improved, you see. Yeah. At least it's only a cantrip. <laughs> Imnek. Okay. Uh, right, then we're trying to take these guys down pretty fast, so Imnek will summon his uh, cast Hex on uh, the, the nearest one. Uh, oh, no. That would be... Sorry, that would actually be at level three, so... Assuming I don't fail a concentration save, I could have it for up to eight hours. Um, Bloody hell. Yeah. Uh, and then he will take a swing. Ugh, doesn't make him more accurate, though. That's a miss, unfortunately. That's just hilarious. Arrakis is doing the most damage. That can't be right. So yeah. one, one nearest to the one to the north. Uh, one nearest to the south. So he takes 20 points of damage. Yeah. Slash, slash, slash. Okay. Uh, Cockwind. Uh, it will. Which one of these two is looking worst? Uh, the one to the south, the one nearest you. That one, yeah. that one there. You don't need. Oh, to, yeah. You only just sneak attack it to finish it off, probably. So if yeah. you want to, yeah. In which case, I'll go for this one then. Yeah. Oh, much appreciated. Uh, Someone has to save you from yourself, Arrakis. There you go. Oh, oh, I'm, rather, I'm actually doing rather well, if you don't mind. Um, Sword boy. You can. Enroll your 66 for um, sneak attack damage if you wish. <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, it's just for posterity. See how many gibs you put him into. Yeah. Uh, so that's one, and here's five more. Whoa! Yeah, he um, straight for the eye socket, basically to the back of the neck, and, neck and off he goes. Oh, yeah. bloody hell, that was the initiative one, yeah. wasn't it? Of course it was. <laughs> 11. <laughs> Always happens, bloody doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, cock, uh, Arrakis. Hurrah! Oh, in which case I'll just sort of stand here and fling fire at them. Why not? 
casually without even trying. I'll go for the one that's to the north, the one that's slightly better off. And just chuck a fireball at him. It seems the done thing. There we go. That's a hit. You Boy, have improved, Arrakis. I have. I've been practicing. Singing his leather waistcoat. Mm -hmm. Savannah. <laughs> Waistcoat. Yes, it's, it's, it's just a half orc gentleman's club. We well, yeah, into. If, if you look at the monster manual, he is wearing a waistcoat. Oh well, I want to find one in a smoking jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a very stylish waistcoat, but it is waistcoat. <laughs> Adam. Yep, I'm back. We didn't even know you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> I did say, but I think it might have been not heard. Uh, I'm just going to still going to cast Chill Touch on the one Arrakis is. Uh, the one that Arrakis is gone. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. Oh. let's just assume one you can one. walk up to there and go for the one Arrakis yeah. attack. He, he, he got gibbed by a certain rogue we know. Oh, fair enough. Okay, yes, he takes some cold, oh, necrotic damage. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Too withering away. Cockwind. And he can't regain hit points until the start of your next turn, if that matters. That doesn't matter. Yeah, I didn't think it would. <laughs> Well, unless you were going to cast Healing Word as a bonus action. So you're you not going to... Are the Ogres no, not going to... No, on him, I mean. Oh, yeah, sorry, uh, it's them, isn't it? Right, they are um, both going to attack... Uh, um, neck. I'm going to go. Oh, sorry, it's your go. Yeah. Uh, I will take a swing at the one I hit previously. That's a hit. Ooh. And that takes him out of the game. Sweet. And I will... <laughs> Turn to face the other one and running through with my sword. Ooh. Bloody hell. And that takes him <laughs> out as well. Ah. Hooray! Teamwork. Bloody <laughs> hell, that actually worked. <laughs> yeah. We really did take him out before they could do anything. The space of oh. 12 seconds. You yeah. basically. <laughs> 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 Welcome to my YouTube video of us speedrunning this castle. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. Good. Right. Yeah. About there. Right, then. right. So these orcs. <laughs> how are we going to deal with this, gentlemen? Well, can we go Do you want to check the other side of this door first? Yes. Can we go through this door here? Nah. I wouldn't go through it. I want to check on the other. If we can hear anything on the other side first. Basically, it's, a, it, it's another room the same as you. It, it, it controls the, the um, drawbridge and the portcullises. Okay. And then in through this door here. Um, this is another tower that mirrors the one you just looked at. However, this one is in a very bad state of repair. And it's starting to crumble. Okay. Just take it out of there, I think. And subsequently... There is another door, though. Mm, it's true. <clears throat> the only problem is that my person line of sight of all these orcs. What do you think? Should we just line up at the arrow slits and Shoot the hell out of him. Uh, I think yeah. we should go for the, yeah. I think uh, I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to bar this door here. I'm assuming there's a bar on this side of the door. I'm hoping it's a bar. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything with that, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, if the drawbridge is open, the portcullis is down, then they ain't getting in anytime soon because we've got the controls. There's no harm in that. No better, harm in better, that. better to bar this door because then they won't have access to the controls. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So we'll bar that, that door there. <clears> hard. Yeah. What I've got and lined up will give them we'll time. over here and bar this door here as well. Okay. Am I right in thinking that this lot are outside? Yes. And this lot are inside? Um, it's open air, isn't it? Is it open air? <laughs> yes, it's open air. It's like a... So this is like an entrance coming in, but this gives you extra... T this is basically just a an open area here, like a little mini courtyard. And they should already be on the edges here. And then there's a little tiny parapet, like a balcony that... Um, not parapet, you know, like a like a walkway around the top so you can just look down over. Yeah, so everything there is open air. All the orcs open to the elements. Fireball here. I'm think I'm just trying to work Lightning out here. about where I am. So about this spot here will get pretty much 
All of them. Yeah, not the apart dwarf. from this dude at the end. Apart from this guy, I will hit. If I hit a fireball at this spot here, they will all be hit, be hit by fireball. Apart from the dude at the end. Go for it. Oh hell yeah! Go on then. <laughs> <clears throat> I say wallop. Okay, what's the radius again of a fireball? 20 feet. 20. That's why I've been profusely measuring it. <laughs> okay. So if my calculations are correct... So what, did, this, say, this, say where you're starting again, sorry. This chap is... So yeah, I think it's about here. So yeah, this yeah. chap will survive. Uh, he'll, he'll get off scot-free, but everyone else gets a bit singed. Okay. So it's a Can twenty we? foot radius. Twenty foot mm. radius. Yes, fireballs are not to be fucked with, and it goes yeah. round corners and through windows and all that sort of jazz. It just doesn't go through doors. So it's about yay big. Uh, oh god! Why can't you bloody move it? There we go. So it is somehow picked up him. Back there? Centered there. Where the yeah, centered there, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, I'm, I'm struggling to bloody pick the damn thing yeah. up. I mean, basically, where my area is, everyone is in 20 feet, as he said, except for that guy over here. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, the, the templates in this game are not very good. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Fireball. Kaboom. To quote, to, to quote black and white, fireball. Man, black and white was a great game. I was going to say, uh, I want to say great, but it's awkward at times. Some of the missions. I loved it, though. Mm. I didn't like the sequels much. I preferred the first. Yeah, one. yeah, I can agree with you there. Mm. Right, I am going to make one saving throw for all of them because oh, okay. otherwise, <laughs> otherwise I'll be there for absolute ever. How much damage did you do? 22 each. 22 each. It's a particularly lame fireball, actually, considering. Mm. <clears throat> it's a deck the saving last two throw, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Considering the last two have chucked out on 34 each. Oh, dear. Wow. Well, there you go, and um, we also need to do the other one. I will do differently. Is come on, one come on, roll twenty. Yeah, that one. Whoever the hell he is. Oh, he saved. Oh, the war chief. So, well, the war chief takes on. how much damage? Uh, he'll take eleven, so it's half damage. I could technically reanimate that one orc in front of. Me. <laughs> <laughs> As a Got my champion here all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. That's my friends, is how it's done. Damn. Flash I should have wandered off at this point. <laughs> I am. I'm quite finished with that. I murdered the bear as well. That's what I was just about to work out. Oh, and dwarf. No, no dwarf you, you, was out of range. Dwarf oh, okay. was out of range. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you sound a bit disappointed there, Andy. I am. I'd rather keep the bear and murder the dwarf, to be honest, but never mind. <laughs> uh, what is the uh, deck save you throw? That's yeah. Dwarfs made the, the the bears made the saving throws. Hurrah! Probably fucking terrified though. <laughs> right then, <sighs> I suggest you roll for initiative, gents. Is it worth it? <laughs> that dude did survive. Did he still take eleven damage or something? Does he? What's that? Sorry. I was just asking Andy if fireball means the same in those like half damage. Yes, it seven and a half. Yeah. yeah, so then you get half damage rather than. I thank God I'm fucking good initiative, Robin. Oh dear. 
well, you know, I've done my bit. I don't need to go again. <laughs> You're just relaxing now. It's just, yeah. it's just, uh, that's how it's done, boys. Your turn. See if you can drop 15 orcs in a single shot. <sighs> I'll just literally, I will now honestly use my move to just casually lean against this back wall. <laughs> Funny thing is, right. he's never this pleased with us dropping a fireball in his game. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he's not. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh. I know, that's just the sight it's coming. We just summoned a dragon. <laughs> a brown bear from the ninth level of hell. Yes. <laughs> a dire, dire, dire bear. Yeah. Yeah. I assume that's got no attention. It, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> I'll just wave before I just saunter towards the back of his keep. A flourish. Okay, right. Um, do, 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 do. And go on very quickly. I'll do. Right. Is that going to work? No, it didn't work. Bollocks. Right. Oh, shit balls. Shit balls. Shit balls. Shit balls. What was that? Four. Right. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, Savina, you have the first action. Mm. I think I might just attempt Jill Touch on that orc gorge. Yeah. <laughs> Don't really want to spend spell slots at the moment. Maybe I'll change my mind and he turns out to be incredibly fucking lethal. Yeah. Who knows? Well, Eight damage. Fine. And he can't heal until the start of my next turn. Yeah. Okay, so to take damage, so he's on that much. Uh, Cockwind. All right, how's this uh, dude looking? Um, barely a scratch upon him. He's more miffed at the moment that he's, you just seem to have destroyed his entire tribe. <laughs> have we accidentally committed genocide? There's no accidental about it. I mean, mm. <clears throat> um, would I still be considered in stealth, or have I been messing no. around? Too? No. <laughs> when you associate with a man who's just dropped a fireball on 20 orcs, I don't well, think you can get away with being undetected. Technically, you could use your cunning action to hide and then attack. Yeah, I could. That's so you could dive behind the parapet, yeah. make a stealth check, and then and then you would get it. Of where I was going. Right, yeah, we'll I that. can't see you, so you can't see me. The, the, the bright flash of light just <laughs> Well, yep. I need to. I need to. I need to be something from a sneak attack. You see, so that's what I need. That's what I'm asking. Right, I'm okay, so I've done, you number twenty-six. I have. Uh, have why? I have leapt nimbly behind a battlement, which is bigger than I am anyway, and uh, I'm hiding. And I'm going to drop a crossbow on him. So you'll get advantage on the roll. Oh, will I? Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll do another one then. Come here, you stinky. How are we Thank doing? You. Uh, so do eight damage plus your uh, three d six. Three d six. Twenty two damage. Twenty two damage. Not a bit now. We've killed the orcs. Mm. Uh, Imnek. Uh, Imnek will draw his uh, draw back his longbow and take take a couple of shots at the uh, chieftain himself. That'll do. I'll do it. And uh, second shot. Assuming it hits. Um, the second one doesn't hit. Okay. He's got some good armor, I take it. Yes. Is it metallic, just out of interest? <laughs> Ask uh, him for a friend. 
Where the hell are the orcs? Oh, yes, he's wearing chainmail. <laughs> if if I got close enough, which I'm never going to be, but if I did, I could just go zap. Advantage with shocking grasp, and they could yeah. fry him. Fry him alive with his hex vision. Uh, right. It is the orc war chief. Presumably, hmm. we're we're behind some kind of medium cover at this point. Yes, you are. Uh, so he is going to move, so he gets behind some cover as well, behind that parapet, and he's going to throw his spear at. Uh, he's going to go for Cockwind. Okay. However, he has a disadvantage because he's throwing his spear, and he gets eleven. So that's no chance. Uh, no, don't think so. Uh, and then this book here will run to that battlement. And he will throw his javelin at. Ooh, I'm going to not be in range. Oh, yeah, he doesn't need disadvantage. At Sylvana. Misses. And misses. Right then. Uh, the bears are now no longer oh, have the um, oh. chains oh, holding yeah. them back. So we'll both go and attack the dwarf. Wow. Cat doesn't like that. Cat's on the dwarf side. <laughs> Kidling. Come on. Come on. I think you should uh, get your cat to start rolling your dice, Andy. And deals really nasty. Mind, never mind rolling dice. <laughs> Come here. In the movie, what are you doing? Yeah, um, yeah. the uh, dwarf is uh, now lying in a pool of blood oh, in dear. the middle of the trench. We oh. tried. Well, never mind. We, we I was going to say we tried, but we, we kind could, of. Didn't. We could have tried harder. I forgot about that. Dead, dead. Uh, he's lying in a pool of blood. Wait, what's range on healing word, or is he just obviously dead? It's hard to tell from this angle. He's down in the pit. It's like 60 feet. He's in range! <laughs> he did just take 24 point, 11 points of damage in one hit, and then... He's probably dead. <laughs> uh, no. What are you doing? Um, Arrakis. Oh, they're still not dead. Oh, how, how poor. I, I don't know. Kill 15 people. You ask them to kill two more, and three people can't manage it. Out of the way... Out, out of the way, amateurs. Right, our fling. Ooh. Is a Ganazar Scorcher a bit of overkill for an, an orc chieftain? I don't know. How bad does he look? Because he came out of your fireball fairly on skate. He did, yeah. Is he looking a bit... Yeah, he, he's, looking, he's looking bloodied now. Good. Um... Get the bears out. Can you read the bears? <clears throat> Uh, it depends what I used. I could hit a fire. I could hit another firebolt with no problem. What about if you had your scorcher thing? Could you get the chief on the way there? I could. No, uh, I get it. Well, uh, actually, it's a good question because I can. I can. I can spend sorcery points to increase its range. Uh, I could hit a bear. Ooh, I could hit all three of them if I was clever and I stood on um, Sylvana for a moment. <laughs> So if I stood kind of... Can I stand in front of Sylvana there? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So if I stood there, I could, in theory, cast a lengthened spell. And the thing is, it would actually... Because I, I can't change its length. So it would probably... It would hit both bears, but it's up to Steve to decide whether it hit the dwarf or not. But if or the dwarf bear, it doesn't really back. matter. Just stand one square back. Yeah, but I wouldn't be able to get all three of them if I did that. You stand there, you would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have the angle. Could I stand there? Kind of perched on top. K Kipling says yes. Stand there. Okay, I could do that. Let's see. Sixty feet. Uh. Well, if the dwarf's dead, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, there we go. Uh, Might be a merciful death. Yeah, well, he's going to get cremated. I'll I'll cast a Ganazar Scorcher, um, but I'll use sorcery points to extend its range to sixty feet. 
So that's two sorcery points, I think. No, I think it's just if you're using distance spell, it's just one. Is it just the one? Yeah. Bargain. Uh, distance spell. Uh, one sorcery point. You are correct. Bargainers. And uh, it's the speedy one that cost me two. Right, I'll do that then. So, Ganazar Scorcher at level two. Right, deck saving throw. The oh. War Chief. It didn't even give him the option to cast a level three. How cheap. It just knows you're going to use them for fireballs anyway, so there's no point. <laughs> so what level did you cast it at? Two, it looks like. So just like did it, no, 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 which one did you want to cast it at? Two, it's okay, it's fine. Oh, it okay, just didn't give me the option, weirdly. Um, the War Chief doesn't make his save, so it takes nine points of damage. I think he gets 12, actually, Steve. Oh, no, no, he doesn't. He gets nine. Sorry, yeah, you're right. He gets... Sorry. Yeah, two plus three plus four. It's fine. It's right. It's three d eight. Yeah. You need to take out the spell attack component of that spell. Yes. Well, weirdly, I've just dragged it in. And then the bears. Output. Is it a spell card? Then is what I want to put on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Well. I'll try that. I'm not casting this. I'm just testing it. Ah, there we go. Level two. Uh, no. Okay, I didn't want to do that. Sorry. Don't mind me. Oh, output as attack. Yeah. Um... Um... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you huh. can. I don't know, actually. Yeah, it's weird. You just ignore the um, the roll to hit, essentially. Mm. Oh, no. If you change the output to attack, that should change the... Yeah, it is attack. Oh, okay. It always was attack. I don't know what's going on, then. No, it doesn't matter. You just ignore the attack roll. Okay. So there's nine points of damage. Well, that was a bit of shit. What about the bears? Um, yep. Oh. One, one of them made save, one of it didn't, one of them didn't. One of them like, totally matrixed your scorcher as it came in. Well, that was a bit pants, so I'll, I'll, I'll go back to uh, where I was standing. <laughs> tired after your fireball. I'm still going to chill. Seems so. Keeping, I'm keeping still going to continue making this orc war, Chief, except... Is it here? Is it here? Something or attempt to. Yes. I'll try to touching people up with his necromancy. Okay, that works. It, it takes nine. Life full fate. Yep, so he takes nine damage. Still uh, can't hear. No. <laughs> Cockwind. Uh, okay. Um, how are these bears looking? Uh, one of them is looking uh, quite covered in blood. The other one is not. Uh, in I'm fact, gonna... actually, no, neither of them look pretty damn good, to be fair. They look both look a bit shabby. All right, I'll, just, I'll do the uh, chief phone again. So I'll uh, hide and I'll you shoot. Liberty, then, and I'll so miss. You should have, uh, no, you should have, yeah, if you hit. Oh, I get advantage. Have advantage, I? yep. Well, I hit. I do it. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. Jesus. 21. Uh, 22, sorry. That is enough to kill him. Good man. Nice. Excellent. Uh, the other orc will then hide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we're laughing. Okay. You don't like humour, do you? Seriously, he doesn't like me laughing. He can actually <laughs> hit me if I laugh. Seriously, <laughs> really? see, he's about to hit me. Oh, oh my god, he does not like laughing. He'll hit you if you laugh. <laughs> Where are you, you grumpy little bastard? He got some kind of Seriously. bullying cat. Seriously, he's a right grumpy little shit. Is that the same one that punched you just before we recorded last week? It Podcasted, <laughs> smack, get a right hook. Same cat, yes. Nice. 
didn't you? It's a reputation. Um, basically, the bears uh, are going to maul um, uh, this can dwarf. I go? Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, he keeps skipping Derek's go for some yeah. reason. I don't know what it is. For some reason, I do not see Derek's icon. <laughs> it's like as if it's just not there. I mean, I know it's like there's a lot of shadows and stuff involved within Inek's aesthetic, but yeah. yeah. Um, Inek will move his hex over to the uh, health, slightly healthier looking of the two bears. And he will take okay. a shot. So that was a bonus action to move the hex. Okay. Points of damage. Uh, and the bear's armor class is that. Yeah, we should think it's a hit. So it's Seven damage. 11 points of damage on the healthier looking one, did you yeah. say? So it's fixing down to that. And okay. Will. Oh, no, I messed up. That was the. Uh, that was the. That was the pack, the sword. Yeah, so reduce the damage by two. So okay. it would be yeah, yep. nine. Yep. And then I will correctly shoot with the longbow, but I see miss. Yep. Yeah. Probably not natural twos at the moment. Uh, okay. So I try and save the badly right. ones, but the uh bears will just yeah yeah Bat yeah the crap out of this dude yeah mm -hmm. he's nothing but a bloody mess now Aww. oh well never mind arrakis he died in a oh. glorious combat <sighs> so they're basically them. um a dead dwarf two very blood-soaked uh bears and this orc is now hid in hiding so he's got a plus five to his armor class, or can I see him at all? You can't see him at all at the moment because he's hidden behind the wall. <sighs> In that case, there's not really much point. Uh, I suppose I can shoot the bears. Yeah, I'll, I'll fling a fire bolt at this bear. Okay. Just nonchalantly. That'll do. Just what does hide Nonchalantly kill the bear, then. <laughs> yes, there we go. You see, that's how it's done, Jabs. Uh, Salvino. Uh, I'll attempt to chill touch on the. You're really liking this chill touch now. You've got it. It's got the most range. Yeah. How can you touch someone with who's who's 120 feet away? You create a ghostly skeletal hand in the space of a creature within range. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Cockwind. Uh, okay. Um. I can't see this guy, right? No. Well, you can you can spend an action looking for him, but uh, you can't see him at the moment. Okay, I'll take the bear on. Just in case his co the dwarf's corpse can't be destroyed any further. <laughs> <clears throat> exact some measure of vengeance for him. i got to be honest, uh, said you didn't need to do the stealth check. All right. The bear had, <laughs> the bear had four hit points left. <laughs> no, <you see. laughs> I won't bother doing it. Ar Arrakis I'm could have killed it with a firebolt. <laughs> oh, dear! Oh. My firebolts have been very effective tonight, for once. Yeah. <laughs> 26 points of damage. No! 27. 27? It's not undersell yourself. Oh, yes, 27. Oh, yes, 27, indeed. Like, just drill through the bear and out the other side. Right. Okay. Uh, in okay. that will attempt to look is it an action to attempt to look for the orc yes uh in that case i will just hold my attack with my longbow pointing at roughly where i know the orc is and see if he pops out or someone else spots him uh take a shot if he does gonna do are you readying it essentially? yes i'm, I'm holding yeah readying a longbow shot cool um, well, my perception's crap. Sylvanas is pretty good. Mine's good, yes, I would say. I can attempt to spy him. Mm -hmm. Is that just a perception check, is it? Yep. Yeah. Well, you, what are you doing, Arrakis? Uh, there's not really much I can do, so I'll uh, I'll stand around and have a smoke. Fair enough. <laughs> and then I'll attempt to spot this. 
Oh, yes, <laughs> you can make him, you can make him out cowering behind this uh, he's parapet. Noisy. He's right there, mate. I mean, come on. Yeah, can I release yeah. my held action? You can. Uh, it's standing. I just I get, actually guess what? In there does sort of he aims the boat up and then tries to drop it down. <laughs> um, so if it's my because it's my attack action that gives me the two attacks. Yeah, because it's your attack action. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You won't get your bonus action though, so you won't get your hex. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's dead. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, he's dead. Well spotted. Oh. Board. There's some beer kipping. Don't calm you down. <laughs> get your cat drunk. Well, I'm going to have to go and get a drink. You were sniffing it before. Yeah. One of our dogs would lick it up here. It's spilled. Oh, dogs love beer. Mm. Right. Oh. This one I'll eat um, bubble wrap. Um, <laughs> the foam that you make um, flip flops out of. He loves that. Um, he'll eat or try to eat. He eats melon. He loves melon. You know, <laughs> obligate carnivore will chew a melon. Um, <laughs> well, one of my uh, one of my friend's cats had a nasty habit of eating slugs. And then spewing oh, them up half an hour later. Oh, <laughs> nice. Never learnt. No. This one's got a nasty habit at the moment where he's exploring the new garden of uh, eating the foliage and then yakking it up about half an hour later. He's got a yeah. leaf in his uh, in his uh, vomit the other day. That was nice. I had to physically throw him outside as he was vomiting. There was a nice trail of vomit outside the house. I have to keep packing peanuts away from my dog. He will yeah. attempt to eat those. Mm. I don't know why. Animals are dumb. That's true. Okay. He's quite good at getting bacon as well. He's managed to, to score himself some bacon from under a grill before now. <laughs> <laughs> Just ran into the lounge with his lump of bacon hanging out of his mouth. He'll eat popcorn as well. Likes popcorn. One of our dogs likes cheese a whole bunch. Of... Now if I open the cheese, it comes running into the kit from like upstairs. Mm, these will eat cheese. They love it. Don't you? Yeah, cheese. Good. Mm. And I'm already. Yes. Right then. Okay. Okay. Uh, that, I think that went quite well. That was a lot of orcs so. murdered. Mm. Yes, as they should be. You're mm. welcome. Um, Imlek <clears throat> will. Resummon his pack weapon back as a long sword and sheath it. Shame we couldn't save the dwarf, but at least he died with well something approaching a weapon in his hand in glorious combat. His ancestors. <laughs> got snowballed and then oh, scorched, wow. and then kind of just torn up. Did he do anything to those bears afterwards? Or did he he didn't have a chance. Able... Yeah. Basically, you killed the do the orcs that were holding the bears back. The bears pounced on them and just mauled them to pieces. As it should be. I could cast Shane to repose on him, but that's like a second level of spells. Sorry. Yeah, can you reanimate him so we can question him? That just brings him back as a zombie or skeleton. I don't think it brings his uh, soul or spirit or anything back. I know you. You've been in pain. Come here. Yeah, I can bring him back as a skeleton or a zombie if you want. Nah, you're all right. <laughs> All right. Um, well, that's taken care of those orcs. Should we explore? Should we explore to the north? Yeah. yeah. Well, so go around that crumbling wall yes. there. Maybe, maybe have yeah, well, Cockwind so, investigate yeah. its safe passage across it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna head over into the broken tower. Okay. Right. I'm gonna reveal a good chunk of this now. I think. So what's that entire orcs or chief's actions to ineffectually throw two javelins at us mm. and then get killed? No, one spear and one javelin. Oh, one spear and one javelin. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's get it right. And, and then one hid. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> then he suddenly realised that his entire clan has just been incinerated mm -hmm. by a rather cheeky-ass tiefling Basically. with an attitude problem. I don't think he even saw you did it because you kind of did it from the arrow so that then buggered off backwards. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's probably looking at God. God, that elf has powerful magic. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Death from above. Right, so uh, it's, a t- it's a tower uh, similar to the one on the opposite side, but as you see, this is all crumbled away. And st- there, was, there was obviously at some point a staircase leading down mm-hmm. in that position, but it's all just completely collapsed. And the door leads out onto a parapet, which is broken in places. Mm. Can I get across that? Um... You can't walk across or a big gap. So um, I don't know how clear it is. So what I might do is just do a red outline around it. So the bits I'm outlining in red are what's left of the battlements. Okay. Just to make it clear. You could go back down the stairs in the other tower and then across the courtyard. Yeah, I think so. Do we want to open the Open the drawbridge. No reason to, is it? Unless you want to go and check the dwarf for anything or the war chief mm. for anything. I don't think there's much left of him, sadly. No. The cleansing power of fire saw to that. No, I don't think there's much, there's no much point in uh, struggling across there. Let's go back. I'll just start waking my way this way. Mm. Do, 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 do. I suppose so. Uh, so uh, I'm right. sure so the deck saves to, or whatever to oh, all the athletics in my case to get across. Yeah. Is it what worth about? going down this stair- stairs? Yes. I think uh, hadn't Carpwind already been down there? Yeah. No. But it I gives us it access to this courtyard, which mm. and there seems to be a door there. Exactly. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. I missed that. Something had been revealed on the lower one. I'll wander down. Why not? Okay. What could possibly go wrong? Mm. Everything. Okay, yeah. So you could oversee this kind of courtyard, and there was this kind of lean-to building here, uh, with the entrance, as you can see, is here. Mm. And there's a chimney at the other end there. Just thought I'd point that out for no apparent reason. Okay. Ha! Get up that chimney. We we must now spend four sessions investigating the chimney. The chimney. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cockwind, do your best sort of chimney sweep impression up you go. You could just slipper it, I guess. It's, I take it there's nobody in this courtyard. No, there's, uh, the courtyard is quiet. Right, okay, so I'm going to reveal the uh, build. Are you going into that room, are you, Andy? Uh, I'm going to stay by the door and beck into Cockwind. Okay. And uh, work your magic, son. What are you doing? Sid. Sid? I'm going in the chimney. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't realize we were joking. Just can't um, actually get the stuff. It is, uh, the fire is lit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you know what tell me? A singed hair and a black face. <laughs> um, in which case, I will uh, sneak in the door. Back. Or okay. is there a window that I can get a bit No, more? no, there's, there's, only, there's only one door into the hall. Right. right. So if you make you have your uh, characters to the bottom map for a moment. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah okay. Just yeah. because uh, that's where. Right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. 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 Oh, right, yeah, just because. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where that section is. So By the way, you... do any of these, you know, these half ogres or orcs or anything we've seen, do they have any evidence of black ice upon them? They don't. They're not carrying any. No, but you could see uh, in the main courtyard, which was the one where the ogres were, mm-hmm. you could see um, kind of stacks of things like crates of something. Mm. That looked like recently uh, kind of set up. Interesting. <clears throat> so you can't hit you can't hit anything behind that door. Um, basically, inside it is like a giant. It's, it's like a mess hall. It was wherever was the the castle would have been fed. And so there's a massive table running down the centre of the room with benches going on down either side of it. 
the uh, fire is lit to warm the room because you are in the middle of the bloody you know, <laughs> mountains at the moment. It's bloody cold there. Um, however, like spread over the table is this kind of gruesome kind of sight. It's a fire blackened body of what looks like it could have been a yak or something like that. It just be, looks like it's been burnt rather than cooked. Oh, nice. um, like sticking out of it are uh, various arms and legs. Like it's like being kind of split open and then sticking out are all these arms and that you they've all been cooked as well. Well I say cooked, burnt would be a better description. Oh, and nice. some of them look like they could be dwarf. Some of them look like they could Quite be orc. Arm. Yeah. And some of them look like they could be ogre arms. So pretty much anything goes, really. Yeah. Strange. I wonder what this means. I'll, I'll, I'll not taste it. I'll, uh... it's, it's a bad army. They had to check whether and my dad would let me do beast. Why would they? Why would they burn a yak and also burn arms and put them inside a body of the yak? I could do a religion check. See if this is. Mm. Yeah, anything. there's something strange about this. Is that all right, Steve? Yeah. See if this is some kind of ritual. Cool. No. Wow. <laughs> um, it, you don't recognise it as something of well. There are various religions you know that uh, practice cannibalism, but there's nothing particularly um, significant about like the yak or the angles or the ha the limbs used or anything like that. Yeah, I think about some cool stuffing body parts in the yak. Um, <laughs> that would be a procedure. I'm sorry. No Saying that, there is something about it um, which reminds you of the demon lord Yinagu, which is the Noel demon lord. So Noel's are known to have this thirsting hunger, and this is <clears throat> this is a pretty big meal. This is a pretty big meal that that demon is known to kind of have affected. We've got another demon it. potentially on our hands, chaps, or just I was worried about something demonic on this. But that we've not seen any knolls yet. He would yeah. yet. Yeah. Maybe well, stay away from that door for a moment. He it does not mean that necessarily mean that the orcs do not worship him. I mean that's true. What was that demon called? Yinogu. Y E E N O G H U. Okay. It's a hell of a name. Okay. Um I'm not. I've kind of gone off my usual hunger, and I and uh, not to. Do I want to taste this feast? <laughs> Do I fancy a bit of this this feast? Um, not surprised. So I'm going to investigate this door here. I'm stood next to. Um, and can I hear anything on the other side of it? Um, make a perception check. Boy, I need to easy now. No, you can't hear anything from the other side of that door. Okay, can I stealthily open it and try and sneak through it? Um, yes. Do you want to make a stealth check? Okay. So... I can also see a staircase leading up. Um, it's hard to tell what this room was at some point, but currently it's largely a dumping ground. There's enough room to move past kind of the the mess to get uh, through the doors on either side, but it seems to be like... <clears throat> Piles of cracked bones, discarded hides, rotten meat. Nice. Basically, the place stinks to high heaven. It's just basically all piled quite high. 
I think. Okay. This, having seen the castle from above before, I think this is just a room. Well, this is a room, not the courtyard. Yes, I think the courtyard is through here. Okay. Uh, can we check through this door, Steve? Any noise Let's or anything? Make a perception check. Um, you even because there's not much noise, or you can hear kind of a a thud noise. Um, and then the occasional, just kind of very faint slurping noise. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to see. Let's go and find out. Was that through the top door? No, oh, through the, door. the bottom the door. Doors, sorry. Yeah. And this, the stairs go up to the battlement. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these ones go into the courtyard for the workers. Let's oh, not go through those. Yeah. yeah here we go. Hello. <laughs> Bye. Don't need any. <laughs> yeah. Last time we encountered an ogre, um, I was uh, incapacitated for some time. Yes. I mean, don't wait. We faced one last time where the black they were trying to chip out the black eyes. That's true. Actually, we batted the crap out of him. So you know, we was had that? more. That was like, well, Fifty fifty on this one, really. They were they were further away from us that time. That is true. So I'm occupying my cat with a ball of polystyrene and some wrapping paper. <laughs> right, what are you guys doing then? So I'm, uh, I'm door. Sne sneaking through this door here. Are you, I, so what are you doing, Arrakis? Because you just said you're sneaking through the door as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm feeling ballsy. We and overconfident, obviously. Are we saving him this time? When did that us? change? Yeah. Right. So the thunk you can hear is from the very large figure in the room using a meat cleaver, which is probably more or less as big as uh, Cockwind, to hack at some kind of meat that appears to be on the chopping board in front of him. He's kind of dressed like halfway between a butcher and an executioner. So he's wearing like this like, executioner's hat and he's got uh, like a butcher's apron, but the butcher's apron is completely covered in blood of various nice. types. And this thing is huge. He almost fills the room and he's stooped down. And the slurping noise you can hear is every so often he bites and is actually eating his own fingers. What the fuck? Sorry, administrative oversight. See you later. Well, we might as well shoot him now, aren't we? Quick. Uh, well, has he noticed us? Is he is he aggressive? Sid, Sid has made a, a stealth check. I have. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what was your actual action, Arrakis? I hadn't you thought just, that far ahead. You just, just, just kind of opened in, the door. Yeah. And then deal with whatever's there. Um, uh, he just looks at you. I, I, I'm mm. sorry. I must have got lost. I'm on the tour. Um, could you could you direct me to uh, reception? Hey, fresh meat. You couldn't resist it, could you? You might want to roll for initiative. Ah, well, be right. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> uh, waiting for Cockwind. Uh, what does it you need me to? Oh, initiative. initiative yeah. yeah. Um, I don't suppose I can rapidly backward backpedal. <laughs> you can. For that you, you've got the you've you've got the third action. You can if you want. The third action. Cleave it a face. It's 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 uh, Imnex action first, mind you. Mm. Bugger. Yeah. Uh, I will use Imnet will use his bonus action to uh, move the hex over to this thing and just say chew on this as I stab him with the sword. How oh, wonderfully aggressive! I don't know much else. Ooh, nice good start. Yeah, that's a good start. Fifteen damage. And then my second attack as well. Started wailing into him. Uh, that's 14 with the second one, was it? Nice. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, who's next? Uh, uh, Quint. Quint. Yeah. Uh, I just do that. You'll get your sneak attack because him neck is. Um... I practice is leading the charge. Yeah. Oh, how valiant! Seventeen damage. <laughs> Seventeen damage. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're leading the charge that you didn't realise was actually a charge. <laughs> you're just I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not the, the how guy. I'm. The, I'm. You know the the the, the brains. Uh, a racket. Really? We're in trouble. We that's the case. Yeah, <laughs> hoping, hoping portals to help. What's she going to do other than bail? Um, oh, I, I think a little bit of um, hilarity should ensue. Now you can cast spells whilst concentrating, can't you? As long as you can get smacked over the head. That's as, long as, it, as long as it's not another concentration spell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In which case, it shall um, cast witch bolt. As a quickened spell, so that basically turns it into a bonus action. Um, but I shall cast it at a ridiculous level. No, don't do that. Why is it not asking me to do level three? That's silly. That wasn't supposed to happen. I don't know why it's not asking me to do that. Um, for fuck's sake! <laughs> you still rolled eleven for the hits. You've still missed. Well, I'm not supposed to be rolling it. Well, I suppose so, but. Well, yeah, you don't get a bonus to your attack roll, do you? Uh, no. No, he's rolling a natural three, so... God damn it. That's Twice. particularly terrible. So, it does. <laughs> so I've missed. Oh, well, never yeah. mind. <laughs> uh, Slavina. Oh, you can move All right. Uh, is this guy humanoid? Um... I'd imagine an ogre or giant or something. No. I can't cast hold first on it. Which is why I've had to ask. Can you? Uh, still. Fortunately, a lot of the spells I can cast will hit him neck and the rackets also. <laughs> You're just going to touch him up again? No, I might blind him. I don't know how that... Actually, that's a constitution, which one will be great. Also, I don't know what being blind... Um... He'll have disadvantage, certainly, on his attacks. Mm. Uh, he automatically fails perception checks involving any check involving sight. He attacks with disadvantage, and we have advantage against him. I'll do that then. Do we? Awesome. Yep. If he succeeds. Uh, yes. if he succeeds. Um, mm, that's a wrong one. What do you want? Uh, in which case, I will just do fairy fire. Okay. That gives you advantage on any attacks against him, doesn't yep. it? And there's no save or anything with fairy there is. fire, is there? Is there? It's, it's a dex save. save. Dex save. Yeah, DC. 15. Worse dex than he has con, I should think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. What, what, <laughs> what, what colour of fairy fire is he now? He's bloody violet. That's what yes. he does. Nice. Good choice. Okay. So any attack again. How long does the fairy fire last? A minute. Okay. Yeah. So plenty of time then. Right. So it swings at you twice. Uh swings at a, a nick once and a rackis once with its uh meat cleaver. Okay. So in nick first uh is hit and takes That's... 15 slashing damage. Ignore That's... that bludgeoning. Uh, Ow. So 15. Ow. And then uh, it attacks Rakis. Again, 26 takes 16 slashing damage. So ignore where it's as I pass my concentration. Okay. Um, can I hellish rebuke him as a reaction? As, as a reaction, yes. And I cast that at level three. So it doesn't really get the damage in any way, though. Yep. No. <clears throat> But it does do 20 points of damage. Wow. <laughs> I take the full whack of that because he failed his deck save. Hurrah! So I take 16 points of damage. So he's, yes. uh, he's reached in violet and orange flame. He's very on fire right now. Yep. Ow! That bloody hurt. He is physically and metaphysically on fire. 
Hello, Kipling. Be... Come fight the Mass of Fate. We'll set you on fire in two different ways. Yes. <laughs> hey, and, and Imac can cast Fairy Fire too, so, you know. You can, can be can double, put... triple on green, green and violet and orange flames. Uh, M next. Uh, I'm very unimpressed by this getting this cleaver to the chest. Um, but the hex is still up. I oh, will just continue making him eat the sword. Uh, you didn't need it, but you do have advantage, remember? Oh yeah. Well, no, I will roll again just just in uh, case you get a crit. Yeah, I'll just I'll just roll d twenties. And just in case you get a natural 20, no, I don't. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you do a total of 24, 29, 35 damage, is that? Yeah. Bloody hell. Yeah. Cochrane. Uh, yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, shit. Um, no, it doesn't matter. It's all right. <clears throat> I was going to say, because I cast my concentration, it was supposed to cast my concentration spell as a as a quick in action, but we didn't. Get advantage, Sid. Oh, God. It doesn't matter because you've hit yeah. it and uh, you've done the last few months of damage oh, you take <laughs> it down. Right. Hooray! <laughs> Hurrah! Okay. <laughs> so well, now we've, we've got rid of the creepy butcher, dude. I, I don't think he enjoyed that last meal. Way. Ooh. <laughs> so, is there anything else in this room, Dave? <laughs> it should be in an this... Arnie film. Uh, <laughs> giant, <laughs> this giant is, body. This is the giant body. This is basically what would have been a kitchen. Has been. It's, it's still a kitchen technically. There's a butcher's table. There's there's like a an open pit for cooking things on. But it, I think this thing's method of cooking was just to burn yes. things to a crisp. There's nothing else there. There's, again, it stinks. There's been rotten meat in here for ages. Did, and... did it Go have on. a like one of those um, like local council food safety signs on the outside? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty yeah. sure it's a fake if it does. Uh, it one, one star, one star yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you if you can see it. There he is. There's the chap. He, he looks like something out of Silent Hill. Yeah. Oh, so, see that? Can I see that again? Sorry, I didn't. I was looking at the wrong uh, screen. And get into the lineup. Oh, oh yeah. very nice. Very nice. Cool. Yes. Uh, fantasy ogreish. Yeah. Hmm. Can I have a look at what he was trying to chop up? Um, it to... looked like um a bit of orc. Mm -hmm. All right. A bit of orc. A bit. Well, yeah, a bit of orc. He's already butchered most of the orc. I was chopping up the rest of it. Has he got anything on him of any use to us? Any keys? Uh, he's got a cleaver on. He's got um, some various bits and pieces of gristle on that that's all over his apron. Nothing of value that isn't... Well, you can see nothing of value on him. All right. Uh, okay. No other doors then in this room then? There's a door there. So if you can see it, I don't know if I've revealed that enough. Sure. Your cats really are chopsy. <laughs> they really are. It reminds me of a friend's cat who, like, I turned up and he just ran at me and sort of yelled at me. Um, can I hear through this door? Good. Okay, so it was likely that, it, that this, since this was based uh, next to the kitchen, that this was probably the larder at some point. Yeah, I wonder if it's like a storeroom, yeah. Um, no. At the moment, um, again, just seems to be a dumping ground. Um, however, there are several barrels in there as well. Okay, can I have a... Is there anything about the, the meat? Is there any sort of... Is it just a mixture of creatures is there a specific kind of creature that's more obvious is it, it... The, the most of the meat seems to be like humanoid in that it seems to be like orc or ogre and maybe the odd bit of dwarf you'd seen oh, okay. and then looking for the barrels the barrels are just full of like rendered fat oh. right okay so it's like school it's like a school cafeteria really mm. and all the barrels are the same yeah yeah Okay, I don't think there's much else in here then. Some sort of demon cult. 
We don't know what's towards the back. Same place don't realize. Uh, at the very back of this building. There. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go let's through there. Now. Next. In the interests of not opening the door to another bloody big bastard, I'm going yeah. to not open this door. <clears throat> I'll let uh, cock. Very bold of you, professional. Uh, I will, however, take the moment to recast my uh, fiendish figure, false life. Uh, what? What, what are you doing, sorry? Uh, no, no, just... not, not you, Nick. Everyone else, sorry. Uh, I'm going to roll perception and see if I can hear anything on the other side of this door. Okay. I'll keep an eye on this, these big doors to the courtyard, I guess. Um, you can't uh, hear anything, uh, but if you thought that there's an even worse smell than the room you're in. I'm sure going in. Right, I'm going in. <laughs> so at one point, uh, due to a hole in the ground, this was probably a latrine coming off the food hall. Shitter. Shitter. However, it doesn't Damn. seem to have been used recently. No one can break their legs and throw them in it this time and then set it on fire. Oh, yeah. well, well. How disappointing. <laughs> Shitter. Right, um, shitter. <laughs> shitter. Close the door. Close the door to the shitter and go up the stairs. Imnek will use like a that. few castings of prestidigitation to like spray out some rose smell or something. <laughs> I'm going to say spray some shite out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> Magic air from <laughs> some random kind out of, of fuck off. fecal waterfall. Yeah. Okay, so the stairs lead out onto the uh, parapet, which goes in between the two. Um, yep, separates the two courtyards. Get a good view of the bloody ogres. Yeah, so keep it quiet, boys. Um, and twank, I'm going twank, to twank. walk up this way. Actually, yeah, all of you make a stealth check. Oh dear! <laughs> oh shit! Let's go for it. That's gonna go well, isn't it? Uh, stealth, you say. I rolled really well on one of them. I've done okay. Boom! Let's hope this was a group stealth check, guys. Yes, it was. You're all right. You. <laughs> <laughs> the, don't, the ogres down in the courtyard don't appear to have noticed you. Okay. You just don't see stairs over here. Yeah, Head up cool. this way, then. Basically, Imnek is making this all this noise, but Cockwind is such this cone of silence passing by. <laughs> 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 His noise, is so, his noise is so deadened, it deadens out all yeah. the rest of the noise around him. Yeah. Right, okay, so... Destructive interference. Uh, I assume we're going this way. Mm. So the stairs leading down, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll reveal the rest of the courtyard now. What's wrong with you? Do, 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 do. That's fiendish clicking. You're playing Diablo in the background. I'm <laughs> playing Polygon Reveal. <laughs> it's what I'm playing. <laughs> Did you win? Yes, because I didn't balls it up. Right, okay. Did the party win? Almost certainly not. No. So yeah, you can sit now see you can see all this courtyard down below you. You can see the stairs leading down to the courtyard here where you are. Mm -hmm. uh, but then there's another set that leads into the door into this area here. There's no door where you are there. So you'd have to go down the stairs. You can see the parapet uh, going round and another parapet here. Mm -hmm. You can see this tower a bit more clearly now. Uh, this tower here a bit more clearly, and it appears to be some kind of bell tower. So it's like a third layer on top of this. Mm -hmm. And then again, this is like the main keep, this building here. There's not an unusual number of rats around the bow tower, is it? <laughs> no. Thank God. Uh, I'm going to come up and go in this door. Okay. So that one is... That one... <laughs> yeah, I might as well reveal all of them. So this reveals another guard tower, much similar in design to the ones you've seen around the other parts of the castle. Right, here he goes, Argus. 
and what I will do as well is looking out of the arrow splits, you can see down into the kind of moat area on that side. Revealing more of these tents. This tent here seems different to the rest of them. Whereas the rest of the tent is pretty nondescript. That one has a um, kind of skull. It, yeah, it's bigger for starters, and it has uh, it's the entrance to it is like ornamented with like uh, dried creatures and bones, like little like talismans of bones on strings and little animal skulls and that mm. kind of thing. Mm. So imagine that might have been the old war chief's one then. Oh. Yes, you'd think so. Can yes. I, can I slip through the arrow slit? Am I small enough? It's no, possible. not quite. Because it'd be an arrow slit. Yeah, an arrow slit's like kind of that wide. So you're not quite small enough. Can I abseil down off the wall here? You well, you got your slippers as well, so you'd just be able to walk oh, down if you use your slippers. Yeah. Right. I'm just gonna walk down and have a look at this uh this hut. Okay, so as you um approach the hut, um Do we hit the hut? <laughs> as, you, as, as you're walking towards it, uh, the hut open, the, like the, the, the flap entering the hut opens, and this uh, female half orc who is covered in body paint and has got like kind of bits of an, like a headdress made of animal bones and goes, Ah, you're here. Welcome. You were expecting us? Expecting me? I was expecting all of you and your friends. Well, my friends are otherwise engaged. What? Uh, why were you expecting us? Well, I, I'd been told that you were coming to save me. Coming to save you? We don't even know who you are. Well, the gods murk in mysterious ways. They probably didn't know who you were. So why do you need saving? You seem to have quite a nice tent. Um, Quick, come inside the tent before the rest of the orcs see you. I'll follow her in. Tell me, Carquin's about to get pumped by her. <laughs> <laughs> there are orcs left. Yeah. Um, she, 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 she brings you in, and she straight away she goes. She's got a little, you know, kettle on the boil, and she goes, yeah, "Can I fix you a drink, mighty hero?" Mighty hero. Mighty hero. Well, that's nice to hear. Somebody appreciate the skills and talents. <laughs> Um, yes, I will have a nice cup of PG tips, please. <laughs> but by the way, all you've seen is you've seen just Cockwind just brazenly like walk into this tent <laughs> <laughs> as you look out for the arrow slits. Yeah, um, it's just like, oh, it's blasted. Oh, what? What? Oh, 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 Where'd he oh. go? And based on the time, I think that's where we're going to have to stop it for this evening. That's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> oh hello, it's Auntie Panda. <laughs> Were you under the desk the entire time, Panda? <laughs> <laughs> Were you under the desk the entire time? <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Why do you think Steve's always got a smile on his face? <laughs> Being rude now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's good because he knows you're about to do John. something incredibly <laughs> stupid, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Arrakis has been rather sedate this evening, to be fair, mm -hmm. apart from opening a door onto a hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so John just did to appear. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, mate. Hang on, this isn't where I left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Remarkably sedate. An actual dungeon crawl. That's no one even, no even got close to dying. No one we do him next take took a hit. That, that, that poor yeah. dwarf. I reckon <laughs> if the if you hadn't destroyed the uh, the chef quickly enough, he might have done some more damage. Yeah, he, he, he <laughs> did a hefty bite to me, but fortunately I have the temporary hit points from my warlock uh, abilities. So thank but yes, his in my hellish root beep did there some serious damage there. Yeah. We got away with it. Yeah, it's all fine. It's, all, it's, it's a controlled professional outfit. 
I do, yes. No, that's great. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I, I have I have two um, familiars. They wander. They were summoned from my D and D chest. <laughs> How did you move them? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. If everyone can make it next week, then yep. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas to everybody. Yeah. Good, Good night. night. Good night. <laughs>